I went to get an MRI on um on Monday, and them niggas was like, "Yo, yo, insurance don't cover it. Thirty five hundred dollars." <laughs> don't, like, cover what? What? don't cover what? Don't cover what? My MRI, and they were like, "So what you want to do?" I was like, um, "If I get an MRI, they gonna cover it later." And they was like, "I don't know. You need to call your insurance." So I called my insurance, and they was like, "They said you gotta get like a pre authorization. So if I get an MRI right now, they're gonna deny the claim, and they're gonna send me a bill in a month." Oof. And I was like, "Fuck, thirty five hundred dollars." Like I said, Oof. I got it, but I don't want. I don't want to have it. <laughs> <laughs> so they was like, they said the best thing. I guess they was missing some notes, some clinical notes from my from my doctor. And they was like, we waiting on your doctor to send over some stuff, and then we'll approve it. So I said, I left. <laughs> so what you, like, you wind up getting it? My my well, the the insurance said that they want to see like six weeks of conservative treatment before they approve an MRI. So I gotta have physical therapy for the next six weeks. Mm. Yep. Mm. I don't know. I got a race on the 15, so whatever happened, that motherfucker better be finished by then. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Are you gonna run though? You say what? Are you gonna be able to run? It's a it's a motorcycle race. Oh. Well, then you should be good. No. Right? Nigga, hell no, nigga. My like legs be going numb, and my hand like I lose feeling in my hands and shit. <laughs> like right now, I haven't had feeling like I don't. I have no sensation. In, like wait, 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 feet. wait. Why are you getting an MRI again? Cause like my feet burn. I have like my left leg is numb, and I don't have no feeling in this like in, in sensation in these fingertips and stuff. Hey, what you having a stroke? Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. They can't figure it out, but they need to look at my nerves and shit. Is it something to do with you riding a bike and stuff like that? I don't know what it is. First, they said it was like Morton's Neuroma, and I had like a pinch nerve in my toes that was making it, but that went away. What the so hell is Morton's what... Neuroma? If, like I got flat feet, and my bones is pinching the nerves in my toes. Mm-hmm. You penguin? What, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been, y'all don't know, nigga. I've been going through it, nigga. Seriously? Like, even like even like full disclosure, when I engage in coitus, nigga, like I go like like I go numb like midway through. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Before we even get into this show, what? What do you mean? It's too early. Like, nigga, I got, I got, I got like fifteen minutes. That's it. Before that shit, don't be like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> See, this is the difference right here between men and women. Like, you can laugh at like all your, you know, your medical issues. <laughs> women would be crying. You know, they're half dying. So this is a- <laughs> yeah. So wait, wait, wait. Like- so when you busting a chick down, you got you got a good fifteen minutes before you like get. <laughs> That's it. Like, if I'm really into her, like I, it'll be straight, but it's like I, I don't got no feeling in it. Like it still get the job done, but I ain't got no feeling. I'm just like no feeling in what? You know, in my um my lower what? regions. No way. What do you mean? But it, it, it still works though. I just can't. I'm just not. I just don't feel it no more. Like it's still. But it, that it's that, that can't be. I don't think that that has to do with whether it's or not nervous. it's work. I think it's more or less about the fact that you just ain't rock. You ain't feeling a chick. No, this all this stuff didn't start happening to all this nerve stuff, and then I, the medicine that I take affects my nerve too. Like when I go pee and stuff, I can't feel myself peeing and that type shit. What? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Bro. You better get off that goddamn medicine. Mm-hmm. But, it, but it, it, like, it's nerve this. pain. It's nerve pain medicine. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, where is the where is the nerve pain problems coming from though? I don't know. That's why I got to get this MRI that my fucking insurance don't want to approve. Shit. I guess ultimately I could have gave him $3,500, but I'm good. That's we'll wait to, we'll that's, wait this next week. That's a lot. Welcome right. to the after hours, everybody. <laughs> I'm, about to, man, I'm about to send up a prayer for you, my nigga. I don't want you going through that shit, bro. Yeah. You can't anything that's that's sad but then like yeah but i um 
I got some of them blue chews. <laughs> well, you didn't say it didn't work. You said you couldn't feel anything. I do, but with them thing, them thing, I feel like I'm 20. Like I ain't never went four rounds in an hour in my life, and them suckers. <laughs> Not that old. I know, like it still works, but nigga, them motherfuckers. Nigga, I'm really, I bust one and I'm out for the night. But now I said, I said, yeah, you do, you do need to get with Yaki, bro. You know, Yaki. he is. Mm -mm. So I interviewed him on my platform. His name is Yaki Awakened. Mm -hmm. He's out of St. Louis, and uh, he like, he actually, I think he's like an actual real doctor or whatever. But uh, he specialized in like natural healing and stuff like that and fixing. I actually had him on my platform um and then and, and like I interviewed him and he was telling me he was like yo Anton at 20 something years old he said bro he said he was messed up diabetic everything he said his dick stopped working everything he said he was fucked up he said he was addicted to pill I'm not pills it was a uh, lean I think um I'm trying to quote him correctly but he fixed all of it naturally bro and like you really need to get in touch with that nigga he be knowing what he talking about real talk bro like I think a lot of that stuff probably could be fixed with just diet, like all diet, bro. Real talk. Yeah. That was a good suggestion. Shout out to Clinton Jackson. But yeah, bro, you can fix all of that shit with diet. <clears throat> like I'm honestly, like I, I have never, ever taken um, any kind of pills or anything like that. Um, I remember I was talking to my homeboy and this was probably like, this was probably before the pandemic or it might have been in the pandemic. And I was talking to, my, to a homeboy or whatever. I don't want to say his name because he actually like, you know, visible on social media and stuff like that. And he said, um, he said, bro, die. he was like, yeah, man, I got the, I guess, um, what was it called? Cialis. And he was like, yo, bro, you should try these. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why would I try this? I was like, I don't have no. I have no reason to try it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm straight. I'm good. He was like, bro. He was like, it just make it extra hard or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck? So I I that was the first time that I realized that people was just taking them because they wanted to be like extra hard and shit like that. And so I don't I know. Like, I'm, I'm deathly afraid of that shit, bro. I would. I just I didn't even know it. until you brought it up one night. You was making fun of somebody. He's like, nigga, you be taking blue chews? I said, what the fuck is a blue chew? So I start googling. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, should I get six things motherfuckers for twenty dollars a money? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So how did you get like what what was the process? Don't you gotta get it like a like a prescription? No, it's like, it's like a, that's like a, it's like an online consultation and then they like send you like a pack and it's like a prescription on it. And they just send you a blue chew? Like six of them, however many you want. Shit. And then when you take them, what happened? What's the difference? No, nothing happens unless you're turned on. But like 30 minutes later, I go to 54 year old's house and she's like, oh, you really miss me. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does she do with that for hours? She don't. Um, she, if we just laying in the bed, it just she she was confused as I was. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 like you'll get addicted to them though, right? So what if you start taking them and then you don't take them no more though? Yeah, I've already hit that. I, I ran out. Once I ran out, I never got any more. Did you like? Did you notice a, like what was it a big difference? Well, the first one's not a big difference. That, that one's always it's just the the ones after. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm usually tapped out after one. I'm ready to go, but after, then I was like, another one, another. One. I was like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> how long does how long do they last? Um, there's like the three different ones. There's like a Viagra one, a Cialis one, and then like like a mixture of both. But like six hours. What's the difference? Six fucking hours. You don't stay hard six hours. It's just like the blood. It opens. It's it's all about blood flow. Nah, that's crazy. There's actually you don't have to take them. There's there's like exercises you can do to, to keep to do your butt flow. I'm definitely afraid of that type of shit, bro. I just be like, fuck. Yeah, it. I, I took I did it one time or took that like one little prescription and then I never did it after. You know everything. But I mean, if but a I, chick just don't if a chick don't turn me on, then it then yeah. fuck like I just fuck it like you know what I'm saying it just is what it is. Yeah, the first time I tried to have sex with an overweight chick, I um it wasn't happening. <laughs> 
Somebody <laughs> said Anton acting like he doesn't know what's going on. Nigga, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking? Like, like on everything, on everything, on my daughter's life, nigga, I have never taken no 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 pill, no nothing. Dog, the first time that I heard of a honey pack was fucking uh, online. Oh my- yeah, I heard it. I just heard that like yesterday. Somebody was. <laughs> I had never heard. I had never heard of that until somebody mentioned it online, and I'm like, "What the fuck is a honey pack?" Then I look. Then I typed it in because I'd be scared as hell to type shit in on my browser because I'm like, "Damn, that shit gonna fuck up my algorithm and shit." You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I typed that shit in, and I seen Bandman Kevo talking about how he had took two honey packs in order to bust a chick down, and I'm like, "What the fuck is a honey pack?" And so I, I, you know what I'm saying? I started doing some research. I'm like, damn, that shit is like a, it's like a, ver- like a different type of blue chew. Well, I, I heard that was like a gas station pill. I was like, ain't no gas stations around my way got them damn pills. Oh, they do. They do. People be talking about them in the, um, in the gas stations. Something, something goat or something. Why well, niggas be acting that. like you just be aware of it and like, nigga, I don't know. Nigga, I am green as hell on what the fuck be going on until I hear y'all niggas talk- don't- It'd be those, the little packs, and it'd be um, like the the K two packs, the fake weed. Shit! So all that stuff. Why take fake weed? <laughs> what you talking about, me? <laughs> like why they, take fake weed? In DC, they dying from it, so I I already know about it. I mean, I'm telling you, man. I feel like if 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 I just like if I take the wrong thing, what if it breaks something and you can't come back from that? You know what I'm saying? What if you break something? Better. The very first time that I engaged in sexual activity after I didn't take one, I was I was worried, but everything was fine. Mm. Why was you? Why you say? Why was you worried? Because I like I've done it like the previous six times. I was like, this shit is great. Like this shit was amazing. That shit was like a level up. Like nigga, that's what see. Up. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. My man was like, bro. He was like, I'm good, but I take it, and it's just like extra. And I'm like, damn. But what if you like? What if you get addicted it's to that shit? Man, it, it's not. It's, it's um, what's it? it? It's it's a something inhibitor. It just it's, it promotes the blood flow. That's what it is. It don't. But you can but do hey, extra why you, Like why not just like get the blood? But see, honestly, to be honest with you, that's the whole reason why I never watch porn. I never do none of that shit because I be thinking, <laughs> damn, what if I get desensitized? And you know what I'm saying? Well, well this, is, this is partly your fault because I didn't know the blue. No, how is it my fault? <laughs> I didn't know what it was until you brought it up and I started Googling. That's <laughs> my fault. I said, all I got to do is sign up, nigga, and, and have an online interview, nigga. <laughs> but you don't have a young chick that you got to be, like, up for. No, I'm so good. Like, you- like, when I go to Kathy's house, as soon as she kissed me, I'm good to go. Them lips. <laughs> you know? The way she kissed me, nigga, my toes be curling. I get goosebumps on my arms and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog. I'm. I'm. I can't do it. I can't do it. Up. I love me some Kathy. I'll tell you that right now. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't know nothing about none of that shit. Honey pack. Let's see, I don't know. Not, I just always thought that that shit was for like older, older people. But yeah, that shit started popping up on my fucking Facebook. That shit was annoying. I was like, I can't believe y'all niggas is writing comments in this shit. Nigga. I ain't telling nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Until he got a- <laughs> I don't want that shit. Oh, y'all, y'all not real life, nigga. <laughs> y'all don't live in Oklahoma. I ain't got to see y'all at the corner store. <laughs> but what do do women go through any of that type of stuff? Like, what do women experience? Like, I don't know. I hear that, hear that they do when they go through menopause. That is like I know that some women, like when women bust a nut the first time, they get dry and they just, they tapped out. What happened? They bust a nut and then they tapped out and they get dry. Nah, that's that's a lie. I don't know. I told you that, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. This, 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 there, there's, there's one lady that did that and she's older, so. You, oh, you okay. saying when women, when women orgasm that they get dry? No, that one. There's one that ha- that happened to. But she, like I said, she's older. Woman. Well, yeah. You might be in like menopause or post menopause, or <clears throat> it might be dry. But other than that, no, Mm-mm. that didn't happen. But. Yeah, bro. Honestly, you should reach out to Yaki Awaken. Like that dude is the truth. Um, 
There's this one lady that, I, like I said, I got like a really good network of dudes and my homeboy Brian sent me to this lady, but she said that she wouldn't work on me because every time she worked on someone who got the jab, she got sick. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, nigga, what? <laughs> mm, nah, God, get, get in touch with Yaki, bro. That dude, he know what he's talking about, man. He be... Is it that easy just to contact him? Like, I'm sure you... Yeah, I mean, he, you know, just just follow him on Instagram. Like, I mean, I got his personal information myself, but because I'm supposed to go and actually kick it with him down in St. Louis at some point, but I just ain't had to send, send me in the referral. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I don't know, bro. Like I said, I'm deathly afraid. I don't know, man. I just get, I get, I get going at the very, like, Look, thought, all that shit. I'd be like, "Damn, I'm ready to go." Yeah, so. it, de- it depends on who it is. Like, yeah, Kathy. Everything. Me and Kathy, we we have a great. It's, it's amazing. But that one chick that I came to Dallas with, I was like, I hated doing the turn. I was like, That's I just, you, I just like the big boy. Yeah, if huh? you honest, sometimes if you don't know them, and you know what I'm saying, like it just they just don't turn you on, then that could also be a thing. You know what I'm saying, like. And it don't even matter how good they look or nothing like that. It could just be like you just not into that shit at that particular moment. Well, you know, what I'm I'm a, for me, it's all about. For me, it's just about foreplay. Like I'll wait. Like I could wait a little while. You know what I'm saying? And just be chilling until I build up. You know what I'm saying? My like a, a real affinity at that particular at that particular time. And then it's just like, damn, I'm fucking with you now. And then, I, and then when I get into, because I, I got to be mentally connected, like honestly, like I'm not the type of person. Like sometimes you could just fuck or whatever, but like I actually got to like, be feeling you. We got to be on the same page. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be a vibe. I'm I don't like just fucking for the sake of fucking. Like yeah, that happened second. to me. I the biggest. I want the biggest like feeling, sensation, and all of that shit. So I'm I, I'm chilling. I could be chilling. That happened to me about like two years ago. Like just fucking just got whacked. Like, I want the whole thing. Like, I want you to fucking look me in my soul, nigga. No, that's real. That's some real. That's real. real. Kiss me on my neck and shit. Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. Like, sometimes you can, it could be just, you could just be doing it so much that it's just like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, like, a lot of times, like, absence, that can make, that can make it a lot more euphoric. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. It's just different things. Over a period of time, it's a different thing. So a lot of people just be just, up the sport and they don't even get nothing out of it. I don't want to just fuck just to fuck. Like, I want to actually get something out of it. You know what I'm saying? So That's the whole phase. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, wow. <clears throat> because then you won't, I, I think, you won't feel nothing. I think a lot of these dudes be lying because I, I think I told you this before. Like, I was watching a, um, a show before. And there was, like, a sex expert on there. And they're like, there's polls, and they say like most people in relationship have like that live together, they have sex like once a week. No, yeah, that that now that's true. It's a lot, of, but on, on average, on average, it's a lot of people in sexless relationships. Now that's it ain't even the third. No, I I have uh, we get it we get I get it in pretty good, mm-hmm. but that's just I don't even think actually, but see, I actually like like my person. So is once a week bad for men? No, uh, I don't think I don't even think. I don't even think the wife is holding sex. I just think life happens. Like, no, nah, man, you know I don't mean? think most people is that busy. Ain't you no, know, ain't most people like that. Nigga, you gotta be a nigga. You gotta be intentional about clapping some cheeks, nigga. Like, you have a whole day. You got kids. That's you got true. activities, That's and then you true. get in bed and you like, fuck, like you look at her. You like, you trying to man? Go, go, no, <laughs> no, no. I don't think that most people is that busy, bro. Honestly, because look, man, bro, I, got, I feel I'm, like I'm one of the busiest people on the planet. There's, there's no way. My, I'm definitely about that life. So, dude, I have a, my best friend that works with me. He had two boys, and they both in and they both in baseball. They got school baseball practice on the weekends. They got four five baseball games. They have the baseball field from eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night. His freaking wife is a nurse that worked twelve hour shifts, and I was like, he's like, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, that that could, that could make a difference. I feel him. I feel but you. you got to- you say what? You gotta take a shower at some point. That's true. 
That I'm is a stripper, true. nigga. I'm in the shower while you cooking for the kids. <laughs> nigga, shower sex is stupid anyway. Think of that. Water gets not viscous enough. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone thinks fucking water sex is great until you actually have water sex, and that shit is not enough slippery. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one, Quentin. I agree. It, well, the words you know, for you niggas, viscous. Google it. <laughs> I I have to 100 percent agree with you, bro. Water sex. I remember the very first time I was like, it was at an apartment. It's like I was in high school. More watery. Um, yeah. Viscous means like the like the viscosity level, like the slipperier it is type of thing. <clears throat> kind of, kind of like silicone lube is better than water-based lube. Now, now let me let me revise. But okay, so you know what I'm saying? Getting in the shower together and stuff like that that could be dope. But oh yeah, you know I'm I'm it, it, that shit is overrated, bro. Like, and I'm gonna tell you one of the reasons that it's overrated because first of all, most black women is concerned about their hair in the shower. All right, so that shit fuck it up. Because I see that shit is not like the movies. See, white girls in the movies. Cause you never see black girls really have like in the movies have sex in the shower or some shit like that. You only see white girls, right? And then white girls, it seemed like they always got their hair wet and shit. But black girls, they do it differently. We no, right here, they are <laughs> <laughs> out the way. What you call it? When I go over, what she, she got a big old like shower. She got like two like water heads and. Ooh. <laughs> She made me feel gay one time. She gave me a reach around. I was like, hey, that's weird. I said, what you doing? That shit was weird as fuck. Is so stupid, bro. All right, I gotta, I gotta show a review video. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to the icebreaker. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so crazy. All right, all right. I'm a, I'm a. This is I'm gonna do an actual real icebreaker. All right, I'm gonna start with Rick Ross, right? Because I want to get your opinion in this, in this particular thing. So, of course, you know, well, let me switch this uh, thing real quick. Um, I, right. of course, Ross uh, is going back and forth with Drake or whatever. Everybody already know about the disc records and stuff like that. But this that's not where the real battle, it seems like, or where people are spending the majority of their time at, right? It seems like people are spending the majority of their time on... Um, you know, the whole Instagram thing of them going back and forth. And so, you know, obviously one will post something and the other one post something or whatever, and they're going back and forth and all of that. And so the one thing that I'm paying attention to, and I got some thoughts, but I want to, I want y'all to share me, you know, first. And I got to pull it up. Hold on. Let me pull it up for y'all. I had no something else. So he be going live, obviously, all the time. And, um, you know, different people is picking sides, obviously. And you got Birdman, obviously, he always going to rap with Drake. And he like, yo, Drake, I got your back or whatever. And now Ross has, you know, gotten into a whole dissing Birdman really, really hard and stuff like that. And one thing that he did was, I guess he brought up Birdman's mom. And I think that Birdman's mom might be passed away or something. Um, mm -hmm. You know, or whatever. And so he's getting into now mentioning Birdman's mom or whatever and stuff like that. And so I'm going to play this. But my question is, is it supposed to be rules of engagement or it's just who can get the most disrespectful? Like, is it a line that you don't cross? Or is it 100% disrespect 100% of the time because y'all in a war, y'all in a beef? So I'm going to play a little bit. Of, I'm going to play this, and then I want to get y'all get y'all thoughts on it real quick. Fast forward it real quick. Hey, 
Boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you post that you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rose, what's another 50 million? Boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours. Boy, if you got Ricky Rose money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. Boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours. The countdown has begun. And that old ass jet you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old God is great. Hey, no, this shit is really funny because I'm going to tell y'all, it's like battling against nerds. It's like sitting in a class and you watching all the nerds put together their best science project to present to the class. Man, y'all can have that shit. I ain't with that shit. Your nose fake. Your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Your biggest homies in foreclosure. Come on, man. Go buy all them that's living with each other a big mansion and put the, the, the BBL Drizzy logo on the gates. Man, feed them. Man, come on, man. Do that shit, man, and y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old ass plane. It's a 1978. The cargo jet people gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, man. If something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this, be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and the, make sure the oxygen things in there, because that shit was just for luggage. It wasn't for human beings. That's what, this is a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of boy he is. Soon as that pressure on boy, he gonna go post stunner, stun in that $20 jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper. And make him say, I got your back. He don't wanna say that to that mark. He got that mark back. That mark ain't fed him none. But since you done watched him struggle and gave him, show the world you go buy him, post him when you go buy him a $40 million mansion, white boy. Huh? Huh? Soon as Rose on your ass and you call your mama, then I'm going to post Birdman and kiss him on TV. Mm. Mm. Nah, nah, that's what white boys do. Show your real n****s when you go buy them that big mansion. Mm. You know how Stunner and them used to do it. Huh? When Stunner was on top, when you was... Come on, white boy, show the world. We watching now. Ooh, you posting when you need them. Ooh. Hey, I need you to play that... What happened to that crib? What happened to that crib? Come on, Drizzy. Come on, white boy. Come on. Come on, white boy. Soon as you get in that trouble, ooh, I got to go stand next to the n***a. Ooh, we just watched this on for real time. See, see, white boy, I'm a different kind of n***a. I'm a different kind of nigga. Rosé, I'm rich. I don't need you for a remix, white boy. I don't need you. All them other want to tell you what I'm telling you. I'm saying it for all of them who ain't in my position. What happened to that crib? Come on. Nah, we ain't getting slimy yet. We're just warming up. Wait, want it. If you want it, be, be about it. Put it on Miss Gladys. We all got them. We all got them. Let the dogs loose, y'all. Want to go now? Let's go now. This Rose, bitch. So, question is um is it is it too far and at what point does it because well yeah do y'all think that it's going too far am i in y'all opinion no not really yeah no not really it's funny though i'm not gonna lie this, this is funny i was over here laughing like well they are he kind of funny but no it's not too far i mean Compared to what they did in the 90s, I don't think this is too far. Hmm. What do you think, Quentin? Do you think that it's going too far? I think there's rules of engagement to, to, to every war. I think, generally speaking, keeping kids and, and, and family out the, and women out the beef is probably the norm. Mm. You got to keep women, you said you got to keep women and family out the beef? And kids, yeah. No, that's why I totally disagree. I think it's all fair game. You think it's all fair game? I think it's all fair game. Mm. Like, 
think it's all fair game. Because after you Dang. talk about the person, you gotta, you're going to have to drag something else. Well, see, nope. I, I said this in the beginning, and I said that I agree with J. Cole, right? And that I think that J. Cole understood it, and he said, listen, I don't want to be involved in this shit. I've been sleeping well o o every single night. This shit is not going to just be on wax. It always spills over it, and different crews be beef, and next thing you know, people mama getting talked about and stuff like that. And J. Cole... And everybody got mad at him. And they said, no, man, it ain't no, this is just bars. This is just bars. It's just bars. And I said it. And it's playing exactly like I said that it was planned. And everybody said that I was wrong when I said, yeah, J. Cole played it correct. And he did the right thing. And now all of a sudden, everybody is saying, oh, no, you know, um, you know, it, it's, it's it, it, now it's spilling over. It's yeah, spilling baby. over. Get personal. If you don't want it to get personal, you might as well not even get in the beef. Because, like I said, after you talk about the person, you don't have nothing left with the mom and the kids, everybody else. So, I mean. But it never you know, just stays as bars. And no point in the huh. history of rap has it ever just stayed bars. Ever. And everybody kept saying, no, man, it's just, hey, man, this is just bars. This is bars. And I said, no, bro, it's not just bars. That's not what it is. I'm about to get my dog 2K up here. And it always oh, no. spills over into being a lot more personal. Every <laughs> single time. I don't think they're going to, you know, I don't think they're on that gangster-ish. Maybe like Young Thug or something. Why like wouldn't it be? Because a lot of times it don't be just, it don't be them. It be the people around them that it turns into a situation. Let me get 2K up here. See like Meek Mill, they do it. Uh, what's the other guy? Do you have to engage though? Can you just be, can you just like stay out and still get the bag without fighting with these niggas? 2K, you want to be on camera? Yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm about to pull 2K up here. But I, I don't think that it ever just stays on, on, on whack. I think it always, no. it always turns into something that's bigger than that. 2K it, it, it does. Building. What's up to you? Oh, what's shit. Good, okay. That nigga, got, that nigga got some normal shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, man, I don't, that nigga, I don't that nigga got the white people refrigerator. Ross, you said what, 2K? I don't think Rick Ross went far enough. Huh. I can't, I see, I can't ask you because you don't you don't believe in putting on brakes on shit. Yeah, see, Rick Ross, he from that, that lineage. Like, the same shit 50 from where... Anytime I'm broke, I need some content. I'm going straight to my ops. That's what I use ops for. <laughs> so he gonna he, he gonna keep it on wax. He, this ain't gonna get drug into the streets. But you gotta know, like when we beefing and I'm low on content, you for the be it. Yeah, but did he go too far by mentioning uh Birdman's mom, his dead mother? Oh, uh, Miss Gladdy, he made her a public figure. I yeah, but still, it. that don't. But still, at like the same, no. Nah, but still, bro, like that's like saying, like just because I say, oh man, I, you know, what I'm saying, I put this on my my father, then all of a sudden, niggas just start talking about my father. No, that shit ain't. That shit's still off limit. Drake does it all the time. He talks about he stay he stay talking about Rihanna. Okay, she's a mother. She's I'm Rihanna sure. is a public figure. Right, but. Okay, but he he will talk about somebody's wife. He will talk about somebody's girl that you you wouldn't know that you have to go look up. Like Drake does that sneak diss and stuff. So he you, does it all the time. I, I'm just time. curious. So it's no limit. So it don't matter if your your mother passed uh, away, it, your father passed away. Limit. All of that shit is just. It's, 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 it's a limit, but it's usually kids. That that's what we hang. So up dead on. parents and shit like that. That don't that don't matter. It's counting the game, bro. Like, yeah, because that's what Nick just I got out lie. of talking about Megan Thee Stallion's mother. But see, that's why I don't like engaging in this shit because it turned dark. And see, here's the thing: when people say it ain't no limits, it's no limits until the motherfucker cross a limit, then that shit go all the way left, and niggas be like, "Oh, why oh, did it have to be that?" Because it ain't because it ain't no limits. Know. If it ain't no limits, then what happens? See, uh, there are limits, but let's say you don't reach a couple of them limits. Let's say none of your folks are deceased, 
and I can't talk about that element of you. Well, I that means you flawless. I have to get there somehow. So what what's limits is we keep kids out out of it. No, and people don't take people don't leave kids out of it. No, the only people I know who get it. I don't know, man. I, I I think the only thing that should be off of them is just the kids. If they helpless. But uh, parents, the, them the motherfuckers that raise you. So all that fucked up shit you is, I'm blaming, I'm blaming your mama. So she going to get it too. Usually my, my, my whole, my rules of engagement is this, in which I guess you can't really tell other people what to do. But my rules of engagement is um, keep it. You can say whatever you want to about me. But once you cross the line, when it comes to my people, my wife, my kid, now I'm 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 not even gonna say anything anymore. Cause if cause if I if I say something or if I do something, it ain't gonna be about no fucking content at that point. It's gonna be it's gonna be something different. And so it's no point in me saying anything anymore at that point because whatever I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna talk about it. If I, if I'm gonna do something, I'm not gonna talk about it. See, that's that's your cutoff point. So like, th that's where you stop it. At. But just because that's how you feel about your family, and you done talked about these situations, like just the other day, Drake was at his concert, and Shannon was right beside him, and Shannon's wife, Drake stopped the concert. It, it was huh? Who? Shannon, the, the football player nigga, he from the uh from the oh yeah 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 I know yeah talking. so he Shannon with his wife drops Drake stopped the concert was like uh man but tell your kids put some clothes on man what the fuck <laughs> get off the camera mama she at home man she free <laughs> that's funny yeah. I ain't know she had jumped in the cow <laughs> but yeah but Drake was like uh. <laughs> she, you know, she fine as fuck. She, he disrespected the fuck out of Shan. And then but did he, it. did he know that that was him? She yeah. standing right beside the nigga. But she, I thought he was looking right from like a him. long distance, like he was just like he couldn't really see. That's what no, I'm saying. I mean, uh, come on now, at time, you know. It's I mean, what? Well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just this asking. Woman ain't made it to that skybox by herself. <laughs> It'd be chicks well, though. Right beside It'd be chicks in the skybox all the time, bro. Yeah, he know that she. Was but he didn't. He didn't man. diss her. He didn't diss her though. He didn't he say. Didn't diss her. He he like he, that he, girl right there in the green, like, fine as fuck. Like dis disregard all the yeah. niggas in here, right? I, I don't look at that as a diss though, bro. I don't look at that as like a line to be crossed. Yeah, for the diss. I, I don't I'm look not at that. It around a, if I'm around a group of guys and I see one girl. I'm going I'm, I'm to put it together that she probably with one of these niggas. That's like going to a comedy show and sitting in the front row and, and possibly getting called out. Like, you know, when you go to the front row, that's just a strong possibility you're going to get called out. You ain't going to get called out in the skybox. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm bro. saying going to a performance and somebody participating and like as long as they didn't, he still didn't say nothing negative. I don't look at it like that. Look at it like that. Are you talking about Channing Crowder? <laughs> Does that? Yeah, Danny yeah, yeah, so Crowder. Yeah, that's who he is. Yeah. So he can be like, Man, I, I can take bad. She bad, but that bad. that's not for you to hold up your show and and, and give a knowledge to like that dirty macking with a microphone. Nah, yeah, don't don't, don't talk. I guess for me, I start. I try to stay out of certain stuff. Um, I try. Don't mean that I can always do it, but I try to stay out of certain stuff. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Cause if I got to go there, then I'm not going to talk about it. Once I stop talking about it, it's, it's up from there. Yeah. But see, I, I let you, like when I got ops, I, I let them know the rules of, of engagement. Like everything stop at the kids. Anything about that? Like you, you signed up for this. It's all free game. Mm. You talk about the kids, though, is it so? So you thought what Pusha T said was bad? I didn't listen to the Pusha T. I, didn't, I never listened to the Pusha T diss, to be honest with you. Well, the Pusha T diss is special because... The, now, this is what we talking about, Edson. Because 
Push the T. <laughs> no, Drake crossed the crossed the line when he did Push the T. Wife first. I don't know anything. Honestly, I never got involved in that. I was just not interested in that beef. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't a thing. Yeah. It's funny because I actually ran into Pusha T um, down in Virginia before all that shit popped off. Um, I went down there to go and kick it with Bricks Fitness. And so I was down there shooting content and kicking it with Bricks. And I guess Pusha T and them was recording out of his, his studio. It was right next to where we was recording out of. And so I ran into him, and I had an opportunity to kind of kick it with him for a minute. Um, and he seemed like a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? He was just chill. He was there by himself. Well, he had an engineer in there, but he was outside by himself and shit. And so everything was just cool. He had his uh, his Maybach truck out there. <clears throat> so he was just a cool dude. And I just Everybody never cool like... you say something about their wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about that. But, but, but here, you missing what I'm saying, though. Birdman, they ain't got nothing to do with what he, like, okay, so Drake may engage in that type of shit or whatever, right? But Birdman yeah. haven't said anything about Ross at all, as far as I know. Oh, well, they, they had word. Now, this, the Ross shit go back to the, uh, to the Lil Wayne stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, this kind of, it kind of tied all together too perfectly because... Uh, on the skate, on the state scheme, and Ross was like, "I ride for my niggas, dog." And he really mean it because when he was beefing with Barry, man, it was about Wayne. Now, yeah, but how you gonna beef with a nigga about another nigga, and then you don't even like? Because you the nigga that co-signed the nigga. Man, that's sound, that's not, that shit sounds stupid, bro. My nigga, like when I come. No, 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 no. no. Everybody's to beef. Law. Everybody's beef is their own beef, bro. Like I don't need no co-signers. I don't need no niggas riding for me. I don't need none of that shit. Like I'm my own man. Like I'm not about to diss. I'm not about to diss another nigga for you, man, bro. We getting we. This we, sound we, weird. I'm 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 from the streets, bro. We hitting whatever next to you. We not for the pull up on the block, hey y'all. But I, but wait, but I thought they said that it was just rap. It is just rap. So lyrically, we gonna hit everything close to you. When they were talking about his engineer, the one that got the the the, the diagnosis, they hit him too. Like all this, it's free game. Cause they ride, no, they bro. gonna ride with him. They gonna ride with Drake. Just because a nigga say they got your back though, Slimmy in the chat. What the fuck? What do that got to do with niggas getting your mama this? Man, bro, they gonna raise that nigga, bro. Y'all stop <laughs> crazy. Your hands out here. See, this is how niggas wind up get misunderstandings, get niggas killed in real life. Yeah, I don't know what they do in the, the misunderstandings get niggas killed in real life because some people don't play that shit. Some people so don't true. play that shit, and niggas get it get crashed out. People start that shit. It start with just on wax, then it turn into something different, and then next thing you know, niggas harboring real feelings, and some people turn to life, life, bro. The shit if the shit that you saying on wax, I don't play about, then how you think you want me to do it? Like you, but it ain't just on wax. Like, These niggas is on. I'm on, saying, but like, so this nigga feel comfortable with calling out other folks' wife. Niggas don't play about that. They cuffed his one. I'm talking about Birdman. I did I'm what, what I'm. What I start. What I. What I asked was, was it disrespectful for him to even mention that nigga mama? His dead mama. I don't know. That's he kind of made Miss Gladys thing, though. I told you that. And he already knew because yeah. he always mentioned Miss Gladys. He always that's why. That's why I think that J. Cole played it beautifully. He said, "You know what? If it, well, he didn't play it perfect because he should have just not ever said nothing in the first place." But J. Cole was like, "Yo, man, I don't want nothing to do with this dumb shit. I'm out of here." Now, J. Cole yeah. knew what these Cole. things was going to take it. But everybody was capping like it was just going to stay rap, and it don't. It ain't on that. It never stay rap. It never just stay rap. Next thing you know, niggas trying to fuck each other, baby mamas. and Drake does that all the okay. time. That's what we do. That's nah, what I'm saying. talking about like I'm talking about like kids start getting in the crossfire with like with Jay-Z and Nas and shit. Beefs, people beefing with whole crews and shit. See, I don't man, I come from the 90s, bro. And that, that shit never stayed on, on wax. I remember True Life wind up getting into it with uh 
what uh, a bunch of niggas and shit like that. Like, it never stays on wax. Ever. Ever. It never stays that way. It's never happened in the history of hip hop where shit just stay on yes, wax. It has not. Yes, it has not. Yes, bro. Nothing escalated from the, uh, the Jay Z. Niggas got whole. We the only segment where niggas then got really killed and people trying to find the killers or who who set a nigga up. We the only, hey, uh, only the only genre of music where niggas be dying over this shit. Bro, if you ask me, I think the whole reason with the Pac shit, I think Pac wanted to get into one of them Diddy parts. I'm telling y'all, I think Pac was sweet. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm for the click on the link. I'm for the turn on my camera because it's fine for the. I bet I'm gonna just add you in. Okay, I bet. But see, I, I honestly, I don't believe that it ever stays on wax. I don't. Well, sometimes the biggest ones haven't. Well, no, wait, didn't Fifty Cent stay on wax? No, hell no. That nigga was tracking Khaled's. Uh, fucking mother's location, and they had her on camera, and that was at his at her at the mama's job. They was recording Khaled's mama at her job. That's crazy. That's insane. I'm not, I'm not really blackity black. What does on wax mean? That means that keeping <laughs> it on keeping it on record, keeping it on track. So instead <laughs> of spilling out, okay, I think it's spilling out. <laughs> Instead of it spilling out out into like outside of just the music, it turned into other stuff. Is there like a book I can read about this stuff? I think it's I don't know. I think it's I think it's all fair game, but it's unfortunate that it does turn into that. Because I think it makes for good like I know back in school we used to have something called Jonin, right? And you would mm -hmm. sit there and you would go back and forth and you would get like nasty. You talk about people, mom. It's like this on YouTube, like, oh, it's, it's messy. I don't like so it, bro. Dude, it's bad, bad. Like, nigga, if I go somewhere else, I can't strays. Like, ever since I've been on Monday night shows, niggas hate me. I was like, shit. What you mean? <laughs> oh, they be talking. They was like, you little bitch, nigga. You're little Anton's little so-and-so. Where you be at? Where you be at? <laughs> you kidding me, nigga? Hold on, let me see you, if I can you, shut uh, where do you be at, Quinn? What the, what the fuck is going on? Anywhere. Like, if I just like pop up in the chat and be like, what's up? They're like, ah, Quinn's here. Anton's minion is here. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> all that, all that, Quentin, all the Anton's haters come to my uh, my my little starting up channel. They're like, yeah, oh, we yeah. hate it. He's, he's that. I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> yep. I'm like, oh, so, niggas love to hate a nigga. It is. Oh, you don't even do nothing to nobody. I'm like, this is not even answer. I'm like, if I pull up on that panel, they were like, oh, we thought you were too good to come to our space. I'm like, what? I'm just another nigger. Jesus Christ. It's that deep? Niggas really be tripping off of it like that? They be hating you. I think I managed. There's like a lot of beef in this space. I think I I kind of managed to stay out of all of it. Still? I don't beef with nobody. I'm saying it's still actually really beef, like beef, beef for real. Dude, it's like, like somebody was talking about effing somebody's kids, and I was like, "What?" No, nah, you got to be kidding me, bro. Nigga, yes, like nigga, it's bad. That's bad, that's man. you got to be kidding me, bro. Yup, it's bad, bad. What you mean they was talking about effing somebody's kids? Yup, he's like, "I eff your kids, I eff your wife," and like I'm like, "Nigga, what?" <laughs> I don't like that shit, bro. I honestly don't, man. It's weird. Like y'all don't think y'all don't think that that's going too far? Nigga, that's yeah, way that's, too far, nigga. That's, that's like, that's and you know this right? dude, he would never say that in someone's face. <laughs> like I don't know, bro. I think that this is going too far, man. I genuinely it's just think like, too much, bro. I tell this to all the women in my life that have so much chaos. Like the older I got, like my life has just gotten better, it's got more relaxed. Like there ain't no that's fucking weird beefing. I can't tell you the last time I had a beef with anybody. That's that's crazy, bro. To say that I, mm -hmm. I the kids. Mm -hmm. That's nasty yep. to me. But no, Mika, you said that it wasn't no limits. No, <laughs> I said you could talk about the kids. I didn't say you can say 
I want like that. That's a predator. That that's somebody that should be in jail. Yeah, if you want to say your kids is I don't know ugly and they got snotty nose and no bad whatever, it's subjective. But when you start talking about like harming people, kids, just like if yeah. you're saying okay, your mom is ugly or your mom is whatever, but to start saying I'm going to shoot your mom or something like that, that's ridiculous. Mm, here, let me get this caller up and see what this uh, my man's talking about. Mr. Shepard, what's going on? What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm, I can hear you. What's the word? So, uh, based off the uh, conversation, it all goes back to uh, something that you said a long time ago. It just, you know. You want to be on camera? Yeah, please. All right, go ahead. I'm listening. Damn, that nigga said, please. All right, this goes back to what you said about two years ago. Um, you know, black culture, it's not all that great, man. Right? And you're right. This is the only genre that we created that it ends up with somebody getting seriously hurt. And to answer the question, there's no limits because it's getting worse and worse. I was shocked like 10 years ago, right, when all that dr drill music came out of Chicago and people were dissing dead homies. So it has progressed from there. It has got even more decadent, man. This whole society, especially our culture, is very um, de de degenerate, right? Worse and worse and worse. So my question is, particularly to Anton, is where, where are we at now in terms of black culture? How much money does a, a man need to make to be able to raise kids, especially black daughters, to shield her from this horrible, toxic, terrible culture that we call black culture. How much I don't money? think it has anything to do with money. Nothing, yeah. I don't think it you has got, anything um, to do with You got Russell's what you, yeah, you're right. I don't think anything can, money. Can y'all hear me? Mm-hmm, we can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that it has anything to do with money, bro, honestly. What, 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 like, what do you mean by shield with money? Like, what are you specifically? Well, she gotta well, go outside. I, I she gotta go outside. <laughs> and it's not in just black well, culture either. Mm -hmm. So what is it then? White, no, I'm saying like white, white kids listen to the same thing. I grew up in a white household. It's you hear it. It's every are they doing this? Yeah, they are. And it and it's like I said, society as a whole is getting worse and worse, but I think black culture is a little bit of it ahead of the schedule and it was meant to be that way <laughs> so i believe the best way to raise your black kids is to shield them keep them away from black culture as much as you can so i want to know how much how much does it what do you need to do how much money does it cost to keep your i don't kids think, away from I don't black think it has anything that i think that money money is a tool right but a bad person is a bad person and it's people with money that evolve into degenerate behavior. And it's people that don't have money that's able to raise a kid in a, in a cultured environment um, that keeps them busy, right? It, they keep them busy in church. They keep them busy with, you know, extracurricular activities. They become soccer moms and stuff like that. It's really just, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's people that are active and they keep their kids active and they participate in their lives. It's not that kids are not going to get into stuff or they're not going to make mistakes. I think it's more or less about what you put into them when, when they're younger that keeps them when they get older in particular. Like me and my old family, we turned out straight and we didn't grow up with a whole lot of money. It was times where we had got some money and we blew it because we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Well, I wasn't old enough to experience it, but you know what I'm saying? They, they had got some money and they blew it or whatever, but... In a general sense, we were still in the hood and we was right right where we was. And that was just the end of the conversation. But even though we grew up in the hood, we stayed in church. We was, you know what I'm saying? And you still get caught up because the hood is the hood. But at the same time, it was the, the principles and the ways that we grew up and the fact that you got to have a father in your life in a household with you. I think that makes a bigger difference that influence you, influences you and that stuff stick with you as you get older, bro. What what got me through and, and over the humps? It was just like real life listening, bro. Listening to the OGs when they talk, uh, taking some shit that my mama was saying because I couldn't take everything. Uh, 
it, it was just listening. It didn't cost nothing to be not stupid. My yeah. mama say, okay, hey, look at them folks over there. They smoking, right? And then she'll point on down the line. Three months later, you see they still doing the same stuff. Yeah. And she'll tell me, listen, smoking weed ain't necessarily bad mm-hmm. for you, but if you want to be complacent like that, go do that. That didn't cost one dollar. That example didn't cost one dollar. So it's not even being proactive, being in the church, none of that. Like just somebody really sitting there telling you the truth or get you through the shit. I don't, I don't think that it's just that alone though. I think that you also oh, you gotta what see what about it. public schools though. What about sending your kids to public schools? Isn't that a risk, though, think, in today's time? I don't think you need to shield your kids away from them. I think you need to show them what the fuck it is and see how Yo. horrible it is. Don't hide it from them. Be like, look, this is the fuckery. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't don't hide it from them. Would, would you send your because kids to the public day, school? Like, what do they say? Train up a child in a way he should go, and when he is old, he won't depart from it. And There's some phenomenal public schools. Absolutely. It's some phenomenal public schools. I, I went to a public school. It was more like lean on me, like east side high. But <laughs> the teachers, I know, seriously, like, that was my high school, bro. Like, literally how, but Joe Johnson didn't come in with no big coat turning shit around. Like, that's how it was when I came, and that's how it was when I graduated. Yeah, Bro, you got yeah. enough examples to, to make the choices that you want to make for yourself. Yeah. Like I knew for a fact, I ain't want to be looking over my back every time I fucking looked over. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, maybe I, don't, I ain't gonna be thugging for the rest of my life. That ain't for me. Let Let's see what the college route like. You know what I'm saying? So, the examples is in the is in the process itself. I, I feel like um, high school, public school, is what really made me. Really? Like it had? Yeah, hell yeah, it had Man, every. Out of all my cousins, my dad has five siblings, and it's kind of weird that you bring up public school, but like the the cousins that are doing the best were the ones that went to private school. It make a difference. Like Drake, I went to my, 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 my. I did both. Yeah. I'm, I'm tell you, me, So you're sending your kid to a black public school. Let me just rephrase it like that. A black I'm public school. You know what they're gonna learn at the black public school? There ain't no other school going to teach. how to fight. No resilience. How to dress? Resiliency, the ability to bounce back, bro. Not, after all, right, all, not all environments is conducive to K. Okay? Nah, like, you I just did a time. You just did a. You just did a whole episode of one of the teachers, right? She was a rapper, not just a rapper, but like a stripper rapper, right? So, yeah, like, she wasn't. That's what's she wasn't in a. Um, she wasn't even in Detroit school. She was in a suburban school. Right, and then you got all these teachers. And they fought, with they kids, fired her. Though. Fired her though. Good. At least they got some standards. But I'm just saying, in today's time, especially knowing what you went through at public school, because like I said, I had a bunch of fights at public schools dealing with Negroes. Right. I learned how to be resilient with the hands. Right. And I know if I was going to a white public school, I would have never even had a third of the fights I had. I learned how to dress good. True. I learned the best slang. Right. I learned how to what's what's superficial it, it gets you ready for this culture that's what high uh public black high schools do so you say that's what you want your kids to be dealing with eight hours a day while you're at work working hard my nigga, think about it that's what that's what getting you ready for life think about black it. Black life right this function for black life okay I no, 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 hey if you go to a workforce you're gonna have to deal with somebody you won't like say you're gonna have to get on to a physical altercation but you got to know how to stand up for yourself i'm not gonna jock the skills that i learned from a public high school bro a all so black where, public high school where, where are the white people learning this stuff that aren't going to black schools where are they learning that what are you talking about they, they not well i'm just on, well, this, is, it, is it needed <laughs> Do, no they, they don't need it but you got to think like a lot of them, when shit get hard, do you know what they do? No, you know they don't. Saying? They don't do that at mass. So that's not true. Okay. That's exactly. Not that's, not the, mass, that's not the general but, situation, but, but, brother. Ask, ask yourself: When shit get hard, who grabs the guns and go shoot up all all the teenagers at the school? Black people. That, that no. They sell no. drugs and you shoot each other, brother. That's what <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You sell drugs happens, and shoot each when, other. When you raised in a black school, brother. Okay, have I, have any of y'all ever heard of T.C. Williams? 
Mm-mm. What was that? You, you never heard of Remember the Titans, the movie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have. I heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, school, that school was here in Virginia. I went to that school for two years. And when I tell you it was mostly white and they were fighting all the time, they were fighting all the time. And those are white kids in Virginia. Yeah. So they, well, so, they a, so those white kids are now selling drugs. A, they're pushing that line oh, in their hood and oh, stuff. Oh, and Virginia, so, so, okay, see, you must not know the DMV area. Because the DMV area is everybody. When I say it's everybody, it's everybody. So yeah, you have you have affluent black people, you have affluent white people, you have affluent Hispanics, and then you have trailer trash, the hood, all of that. So it just depends on where you come from. I'm gonna word. tell you what bro going. Bro trying to put his fucked up experience in high school and how they treated him like a lame into back to the black culture. I I, I know nah. your type. You the type that become a police officer and then try to exert your power. I, I know niggas like you. You were successful in high school and on on a on, on a public level, like on a social level. And then you become a police officer and now you the man and you want to show niggas that. Bruh, you just took the bad from it. It's my nigga, you could have took them same bad experience and turned them into positives, but you chose to look at it bad, bro. Yeah, that's that's crazy. So you, you so you think that's my life. So my thing is. I was probably doing way more stuff than you and I got caught up and it wasn't until I became a man I realized these behaviors that I learned early on growing up in the hood growing up in um these black ghetto public schools you know I learned that these things was actually preventing me from being successful in general society brother right no, and it's you this type of you just me based off stuff that actually don't matter bro you My like you're judging me based on black Negro stuff that don't matter, bro. You a lame man, bro. Do you got a business that I can work for, bro? You got a business that you gonna hire me? What does it matter? What's your opinion about me being a lame? What you talking about? You trying to be the cool kid? You trying to be like this? Judge me based on stupid stuff, bro. My nigga, at the end of the day, I call you lame, bro. The decision was yours. You wanted to be the cool kid trying to fit in and did stupid shit and got caught. I did it too. I ain't get caught. Nigga. Okay, so you, you now you just me for the same thing you did, bro. You a hypocrite, bro. You just me for the same thing you I'm did. Not a hypocrite, you because you, you think you don't know, know, know me, bro. I'm blind. Listen, I want to blame my. Yeah, black people are so judgmental, bro. No. That's why I get more. I get more insults from the community than so-called racist white folks, bro. And I'm not saying white folks ain't racist, but I'm saying this kind of stuff you got to deal with since high school. You acting like you, we still in high school, bro. No, dealing with, dealing with, dealing with the community no. is like you're still in high school forever because they judge you based on stupid stuff, bro, that don't matter no, nigga, in the you, real you, world. You let them judge you off of stupid shit. You let them drug you on what? the whack ass clothes you was wearing, nigga. You let I don't them understand what you're saying, saying your country they ass, nigga. But uh, I'm out I'm the bounce, bro. Thanks for having yeah, me on air time. It's Mr. Shepard, and I'm here to prove myself to the nation. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm out. Nigga, I just read that nigga right there, bro. You chose to protect. You wanted to be cool to the thug niggas, bro. You know you want like that. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't like coming on this show running niggas off. I'm here for a dime. No, bro. you can say whatever you want to say. We Listen, they can, they can handle themselves. They know what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> that's, that's two people in two weeks. <laughs> no, that, it is what it is. <laughs> it's the Listen, I'm going to tell you, like, this is like Mika saying, hey, I want to fit in with the cool girl, so I'm going to go suck dick. That was Mika choice. <laughs> you want to fit in. Stop blaming that shit on your environment. Ask yourself not what the environment can do for you, but ask yourself what do you <laughs> can do for the environment. <laughs> ask, ask that. My, my, I, I, I guarantee you, I came up in a way better circumstances with him, and I'm way farther than life, and it didn't come because I tried to prove myself to some niggas I ain't have to try to prove it to. <laughs> Put that ass, nigga, stop blaming that shit on the motherfucking hood, nigga. You the problem. The hood showed you everything you had to offer. The <laughs> junkie niggas over here, the cool nigga over here getting the money, the hoes, the girl who want a hoe. You chose to be the coolest shit you thought was going to get you somewhere at the time. And don't put that on the hood, nigga. Put it on you. Accountability. All the way around the fucking board. <laughs> what do you think about that, Quentin? 
I uh, one thousand percent agree, nigga. <laughs> I was Man, don't agree. agree. It's okay. Don't nigga, you 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 have you fucking Tuka have choices to do everything. Tuka is a monster. Don't agree with him, man. I agree with the monster, nigga. Oh, he chose he God. chose wrong, nigga. Because <laughs> man, you can you can see it in my school because it was like it was like the 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 black people. And then the normal black people. Then you got the niggas that was banging on the pop machine in the back home rapping and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I knew that I didn't want to hang with them niggas banging on the pop machine. <laughs> so don't go over there with them niggas, bro. They just clean all the attraction, all the eyes that it came from banging on the machine. I want to be one of them niggas. And, and that's the problem. You never influence you to the point that it wants to. But kids are influential. Right, they, they, are. Are. they easily impress them, yeah. so it's really not their fault, though. That's like saying being a baby mama ain't a choice. Uh, no, 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 being a baby mama as an adult is different than being impacted by the environment that you're in when you were a child. That's I, different. I don't think how we can do it. He cares in our schools down here. I, I don't, yeah, that's, that's kind of like oh, no one's in you. They're saying that they want the kids to stay, you know, to stay in school, but it's like, oh, well, I can have a baby and it'll be all right. And so, we have I don't see how you can look at all the good from some, but can't look at the bad. It like, wasn't that, it wasn't nothing good from the hood? Yeah, oh, yeah, the hood got plenty good in it. Like what? A lot, bro. Cause don't you? That's why everybody come to the hood. It bring it. It got character. No. It's interesting. It's funny. That's why when you used to rap out and you watch all them old BT videos, all of was in the hood, nigga sitting on the step stool, because it was a great place to be. Never. But you you was worried about how good this weed made you feel, but you ain't want to look at the downside of what of what it brought with it. No. Nope. I thought both ways. I, I can't think both. of one thing that was good about the hood, bro. Is you crazy? No. Nope. You looking think. at them. You looking at them. Malcolm X. Hood, Detroit Red, that's your guy. Killed. Without, without, yes, he was killed by the government for Doesn't doing matter. good. But because but he, let, he had to be saved. It was, The hood is the thing that got him into prison. My nigga, you couldn't save him if he didn't have, if, if he didn't have the opposite view of what he had. No, no, Look, he, he was he, never he, supposed to, we him. not supposed to be in prison, bro. We never supposed we to be in a point. But, but what the hood taught him and what he learned from it, he, he 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 turned that shit all the way around. Now he got relatability from the folks that were just like him. It's I don't want to be. Why, I don't want to be related to by the worst of us. My nigga, it's a reason why Jesus wasn't linking up with the the doctors, the lawyers, the Christians. He went and fucked with all the fucked up people. No, the he fucked. With, he fucked with everybody. He Every fucked with everybody, but who was in his circle? What do you who mean? Was who the was in his circle? Who, who was his disciples? It, it was, was whoever. It was who. Up. No, all of those guys was good people. They wasn't in the hood. They had jobs. They were fishermen. They was actually productive members of society. My Jesus hung around the crews, the murderers, and the thieves. You got it misunderstood, bro. Jesus did not just go and get the poor people. That's not what he did. He rolled with everybody. He rolled with everybody, but I'm telling you, it don't do no good to be the good guy all the time. Sometimes you got to go in the trenches. And you gotta put that work in, like like off of uh, Snowfall. Mm -hmm. Leon couldn't have became Leon had he not had the the, the humble upbringing. Two K is crazy, y'all. Listen, I'm not. Two K is two K is, is entertaining. I don't agree with because I can't. I'm not ever gonna go live. I, I, you're, you have a wildly optimistic view about growing up in a less than environment, so I applaud you. <laughs> I get what he's trying to say, but I, I like I, you finding the best out of a fucked up situation. I get it. I get it. No, Everywhere listen, that's life. great. Listen, that's great that you always look at the cup as half full. Yeah. I, however, I'm not about to act like this I, shit is that shit was awesome. That shit was trash, bro. I'm not, well, not listen, listen, he learned a lesson. Just I'm because not, we I'm just because bad. just because we survived it and we made the best out of the situation, it's a whole lot of us that died. It's a whole lot of us that didn't make it. It's a whole yeah. lot of us that became crackheads. But it's a whole lot of us that got shot. It's a whole lot of us that is fucked up and got PTSD from that shit. More of us failed than survived. And so but that shit, it. that shit is horrible. That junk was the worst thing ever, bro. You don't want your kids. You don't want your kids to know the, the, the hood, right? Hell no. You see the house that he raising his kids in? Oh, I see it. 
I see yeah. it. That's what I'm looking at. But I had to come from there to know that that ain't the place for us to be. I was talking to my son the other day. No, I'm serious. I was talking to my son the other day. He 10 months. I was letting him know where he at right now in life is his motherfucking silly. Me, it's his floor. Okay. My son don't understand none I'm saying, but I was letting him know this your floor. You got to pick it up from here and take it to the next level. Why I picked it up from, from the hood, I got it to here. So you got to right. understand, I'm just still in my wisdom in them. But you talking about you. You were just saying to him, though, that, you know, you need to go there so you can know what the trenches is like. Oh, I ain't, I ain't tell my son to go back to the hood one time. I said, this, this is his floor. And he don't got to know about the bottom no more. Because we was I never supposed home. to be raised in that environment. So we okay. wasn't, but we was. We it wasn't, was, but we nothing, was. It was nothing good about it, bro. It, bro, I, I had I, I saw, I'm not even gonna lie, Anton. I had I a beautiful saw, uh, fucking childhood. You had a what? My, my, my childhood was beautiful. Outside of poverty, <laughs> being hungry, fighting a couple times, <laughs> bro, I learned so many resilient life lessons. I'm up here with y'all. Well, okay, bet. Okay, bet. Let's let's mind this out. What'd you <laughs> learn? Like, what are what are some lessons you learned in the hood? I, I learned I learned not to do, I learned how to first evaluate people. I learned, okay, don't, don't fuck them. I see what he's saying, but I see what he's doing. I know, I got a real fix on people. You do know that oh, you can look. learn. You Plenty of people learn that, that don't ever be in a hood, right? But it's plenty of people that don't. But you don't I need the hood people. to teach you that. I didn't I didn't need the hood for this, but the hood was there and it provided me the lesson. What, I'm going to just turn it down because it's the hood version of it? But for a person that was able to take your environment and, and put it to good use. That doesn't mean yeah. that, the that, that that place is necessary, though. 2K is crazy, y'all. It don't mean that they can't neither. 2K is crazy, but he's really. necessary in order to deal with these hyenas. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm, I'm, I'm this shit is horrible, you, like, bro. Uh, I remember, you know what I remember? I remember Ray Vans and crackheads jumping out of my window and fucking... Uh -huh. Hell yeah. I remember we was coming home from like a family gathering over a relative's house. And my dad was like, wait a minute, what is something moving in the backyard? He went back there and the crackhead jumped out of the out of the window from trying to break in our crib, bro. Like hey. I, I remember fucking dope fiends across the street. I remember a lot of bad shit, bro. Like I remember the Ray Vans would pull up and and that junk was that became a norm, but we just normalized it. And then when you think back on it, when you become an adult, like, what the fuck, man? We wasn't supposed to be seeing that shit. That junk wasn't cool. Man, that shit helped mold you. No, it didn't. Yo, cuz, Anton, listen. All I had, to, I had to unlearn all of that bullshit, bro. That I was so <laughs> thankful. I was so thankful that my father had sent me to private school for two years. And then I wound up getting uh, recruited to go to... Uh, public school, but it was a really, really good public school um, in the city. And, um, you know, I transferred over to there when I, when I, um, in ninth grade, um, before this, you know, before the season started in, in high school. And then I wound up just going there or whatever. But I had already learned a lesson. I learned in private school that all of the shit that we experienced was bullshit, bro. It was all fucked up. And I didn't it see it. I didn't see it until I got unlocked. By being being able to experience all of the stuff that they was doing, and what I realized as soon as I got on campus, because I was going to U of D Jesuit, and what I realized when I got on campus was like, damn, good is good, and bad is bad, because we used to celebrate, you know what I'm saying, the people that was bad in class, or you know the motherfucker that was disrupting, or the you know all of that shit, but they look they look down on that like. Fuck! What are you doing, man? You're interrupting what we got going on here. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a that's a problem in itself. Pulling up in BMWs and their parents, man, man, in middle school, bro, because it was a middle school and a high school attached, and it was, you know, what I'm saying it was like a campus, and they were talking about their futures, and they was talking about the possibilities, and man, look, bro, I'm gonna tell you one time that it changed my life. First of all, we had to wear a tie, and we had to wear slacks. And uh, every day, and you had to wear a collared shirt, and I had to learn how to tie a tie. 
I went to a party. Um, it was at this girl's house. And I guess her father wound up being like this big, 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 like big businessman in the city. I don't want to name his name. And we went to her, her parents' house when they wasn't there. Man, I had never, everybody was partying and having a good time or whatever. And it was, you know, with a bunch of white people or whatever. I couldn't party because I was so fucking mind fucked over how big that house was. I had never been in a house that big in my, I had, bro, that house was insane. It was, it was like, it was like fucking 12 bedrooms and 16 bathrooms and it was so many different places and the place was so huge. Man, I was, that shit, I was like, yo, it's another world out here. I'm not, and, I, and then I had to go back to the hood and I, you don't realize how small your house is until you see how big it is when somebody else is. And I was like, bro, hey. this, this is insane. We ain't even supposed to be living like this. And then I started changing my whole mindset about life going from there, bro. That shit motivated you. How, think about how many folks the that was didn't motivate that was the opportunity. Oh, think about how many folks that was at that party that, that seen the same house that they had a house similar who didn't who didn't take that time out to what do you mean all of them niggas are, all of them are successful I, I all of them are successful everybody that was at that house with me they went on to become doctors and and fucking businessmen they running whole corporations that they fathers and them and, grew and, and you are too and guess what guess where your humble beginners was from man listen bro the hood. It, it just took you to change your view so you could change your view. That's it, bro. But nice. the hood, the, the hood helped play the hood helped play a, a, a pivotal part in your life because you know what you what you seen in the hood, you ain't want to What I found in life was you you the anomaly, right? And the reason that you were the anomaly is because everybody that I've ever known that was in the hood, the goal was to make it out of it. We never wanted to stay there. We never wanted to be. That's how I know a lot of people. I look at a lame as a person that wants to go to the hood that ain't never been there. Because I'm like, family, I know you're not from the hood. Because the goal was to never be in the hood. The whole goal was to get the fuck up out of there. We wasn't trying to stay there. We didn't want to be subjected to that stuff. And so when you finally made it, like that was like life. That's like a life or death situation. And when I've seen people voluntarily trying to be hood, that's why when people say shit like, oh, man, Anton, you corny. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm corny. I love being a nerd and all of that shit. Because the goal was to be a nerd. The goal was to make it out. The goal was to get out by any means necessary. You never going to shame me for making it out of the hood. Ever. Ever. Never. I take that lame shit all day long. If that, if that come with being able to raise my daughter... In environments where she never ever gonna be able to subject herself to some of the shit that we seen women and girls having to be subjected to over there, I'm with it, bro. You couldn't even walk down three blocks without you fucking having to run into a pit bull. Man, fuck that, bro. You can have that. Yeah, no, I, listen, I, I get it. Fuck it. I, I'm with you. Fuck it. But goddamn me, I can't. I can't put all the detriments of my life. Because I started from the fucking hood, bro. I have learned more good shit from the hood than I have learned. The only thing I ever learned from fucking with these white folks and these corporate America folks, they dirty. They 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 they, they fuck you over in conniving way. That's why I can't like the corporate America shit. Like I, I got a degree in everything, bro. I tried to do that corporate America shit. These motherfuckers just sneak and talk to you by, same, behind your back. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay. If you can do all that stuff in the hood, you can do the stuff in corporate America. You can just do it legal. Thanks. I hate but, corporate but, America. Man, folks so shady. But here's the thing: Are there not sneaky people in the hood? Yes. Are they not shady? They are. Man, I can I could yeah. probably say this. White people, besides Anton, like white people's done like the most for me in my whole life growing up. Like I worked at the front desk of this um fucking bougie ass fucking um gym, right in the middle of white people. And most things that I have from life came from them white people seeing that black dude who smiled at them every fucking day when they came in that damn gym and they gave me an opportunity and it was all up from there, man. It is all about <laughs> what you want to do with that, bro. Cause I listen, I was the 
quote unquote class clown. And Me too. the only thing about it was I didn't fit the motherfucking curriculum that they was teaching. I didn't want to go to job. I didn't want to get a nine to five job. Like you telling me to stop talking instead of knowing that me socializing is my greatest screen. <laughs> you crazy. Like, no, bro. Seriously. like I no, said, no, bro, you crazy. You the anomaly. Like, that don't apply to you. I'm not, no, no, no. I'm just the dude that didn't give up. Think about how many folks power was talking. But every time you talking, the teacher telling you to shut up. Bro, I, 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 I went to a hood. Like, like you would never. You would never think this looking at me, but I was in the hood from kindergarten all the way to the fucking ninth grade. I only did high school with the white folks and the drastic amount of black people in the hood and where the fuck they are right now. And the people that that I graduated doing is different, man. Like them niggas is dead. Nigga, they still hanging out where the fuck we came from. Nigga, I see them yeah. and I'll be like, damn, nigga, that's I not see what I remember. people that I um, went to school with. Well, that shit make me sad, bro. Yeah, I seen a lot of people die, bro. Cause it was like they was good people. I seen too. I seen it, too many young dudes that I grew up with, man, die. No, I get it. Get killed. Little, me too. I, I trust like, dude, me, I'll, I know, I'll be I, sitting I, in my bed at night, and I just like, let me, let me see where these niggas is that I went to, uh, to elementary school with. I can't. I was like, nigga, I can't find them on Facebook, so they probably either in jail or dead. No, no, nigga, that's not that's stupid as hell to think, bro. <laughs> I, I know, <laughs> that's, it, it, it could be. Cub. Okay, so so time out. So I. I, when I was in the army, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I was in infantry. So if you know anything about the infantry, that's some shit niggas don't do. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be on a cover of Call of Duty or some shit. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in here with, I'm in here with number white boys. You will never guess how many white boys was getting kicked out for doing cocaine, crystal meth, and crack per week. They just yep. wasn't highlighting it. Y'all didn't get recycled in the in the army. Yeah, but, they but, but week. See, I don't. <laughs> I, two, two, I got two straight too. Two, two bad. I'm talking about the niggas in the they, army too. I was in the air just force. Because they fucked up in their own way, don't mean that I then justify how they we fucked up over here. Like this, they both fucked up, and we not neither they one of us is supposed to be in. Listen, bro. Y'all be telling about black people selling the drugs, but we don't never talk about the white folks who be buying. D dude, two that's things that's to be wrong, that's two that's things that's to be that's true that's at the same time. But my point is, bro, just because they fucked up does not mean that we were supposed to be subjected to that junk, bro. Yeah, I, no, I agree. It. I agree. Two, I, I, I think the difference all, is I, I think the difference is um white people call it out, right? So like my know? entire my my family would be like, they see something, they'd be like, Oh, that's white trash. Right. And I would see black people hear it and they'd be like, oh, that is so wrong to say that. Okay. Right. Black people don't ever separate themselves from. Hey, the now, I agree with you. I agree with you because listen, it, black, this is what I, I hate us it. Because, like, let's say if I gave Anton 20,000 because he's my friend. I, he was he was doing bad. Here, here you go, 20,000. And Anton run off on me and say, you got finessed. The black people are scold me <laughs> Fact. As, as they'll scold me for giving my friend 20,000 instead of scolding him for stealing it. Facts. That's the type of bullshit they promote in the hood that I just hate. I like, agree. The Nick, that's the type of shit that, 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 that make me turn my back on the hood sometimes. Like, y'all fucking stupid. Y'all telling the motherfucker that's doing right and trying to help that he wrong for helping the motherfucker that just finessed him. Yeah. And then to go praise Anton for getting out with the money. <laughs> they yeah. do. They do. What up, Slimmy? That, What's up? Yeah, What's that's, the word? That's What's up with y'all? How y'all doing? Chilling, chilling, bro. How you feel? I was good until I hear 2K on this rant, man. This nigga tripping. I'm about to put, <laughs> I'm about to put, I'm about to put you, <laughs> I'm about to put you on camera, Slimmy. All right, that's what's up. But, yeah. You know, two K love, two K love to see you. So yeah, what I want to do, my boy? Pause, pause. pause. <laughs> <laughs> it's no ditty now. No ditty. Hey, uh, What's up, hey, bro? Ain't nothing good about the hood, bro. Like, once you up out of there, don't look back. That shit ain't, man. Like, when I think about that shit, bro, like I ain't completely about that motherfucker. Technically, shit. These suburbs over here in Cleveland, they ain't no motherfucking joke. 
No I can tell you got, that, you got that yellow ass light. You still in the hood like a motherfucker. I don't care what that picture in your background say. Anytime I see that yellow ass light, I know you going through some shit. What you? What's wrong with fluorescent light? You, you, you got the recess. Did you got the recess lights over there, my nigga? <laughs> no, 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 I look all through. Let me. I got you, big dog. Let me. Let me fix let me your. Have, let me fix, uh, I'm about to you fix, fix right. your light. I'm fixing your. Update your light bulbs, nigga. <laughs> so look, the, the, the hood taught me how to uh, uh check my surroundings out. Anytime I go on a chick house and you hear that beep. I mean, I got you. I'm about to fix your lighting. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 40% chance you for the walk out this bitch with an STD. The fire alarm is literally telling you she burning. <laughs> Look at that. How you like that, though? Yeah, hey, nigga. He, he, he great, man. <laughs> 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 Look like law. <Lord. laughs> and let me get you some colors, man. <laughs> you turned that nigga to us. Uh, I love Lucy. <laughs> 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 Ricardo, are you home? <laughs> That's just wild. <laughs> Ricardo. Hey, bro, this nigga. This nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh my god, that's oh, so stupid. Man. Two kids. Yeah, but, but what you were saying though, my boy? I want to hear your. Uh, no, your, your saying, like, like, oh. I mean, the thing about the hood, man, like, ain't shit good for you there, bro. Ain't shit good for you there. You get some life lessons, but at the same time, that's some shit that you really don't want to go through, man. Seeing motherfuckers get killed, you know what I'm saying, walking over dead bodies and all kind of weird ass shit, man. You're not supposed to be subjected to that shit, bro. You're not. My name and at a very young age, you see fucked up shit just trying to be outside playing football and basketball, man. Like real no, time, I, agree, real talk. I didn't even I didn't even know Oklahoma didn't have a hood until I fucking moved to Houston. I was like, that was shit in Oklahoma one then. Hmm. My nigga, like, but the, I'm telling you, this shit helped me get through the army. Like, because okay, so all the folks that went to private school went to these upper SLA. I I I work with a lot of white folks. So they know how to read a book, right? And do exactly <laughs> what it say. But they had no common sense. Like none. <laughs> So the, the so listen, we train it. They tell you if you take fire, you get down in three seconds, you get down again, jump back up and start back running. They dumb ass running three seconds. Me, I'll take my time, go find me a nice ass tree to get behind. And then I thug it out like that. So I'm running from tree to tree. They running from three to five seconds in the middle of the open. It's that type of shit in the hood. You learn, you know you need to get to, you need to get down and behind some shit. But if you go by these book lessons, you're going to get fucked over. Because the book lessons teach perfect world <laughs> scenarios. The hood told me that I can overcome all that shit with just some common sense thinking. If you made it. Yeah, I did. That's, that's, I'm here. Exactly. Now, see, now, see, that's the part you're leaving out, 2K. The motherfuckers that did not make it, that got those life lessons permanently. Like, And I know a lot of them. Like, they not... they. You, they they thinking right now, I wish I was never in the motherfucking hood. Facts. Right now, wherever they at. So that's I don't know why two K love the hood, bro. That's a weird man. Thing. That, that, that I, the school I would have that the school I would have graduated from if I would have stayed in the hood, they just had their um twentieth year reunion. Nigga, they had like a whole fucking table full of dead niggas on yeah. the <laughs> like, and I went to my school oh, reunion. I just we didn't have that shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's different scrolls for different folks, man. Uh, I, bro, it's hard not to love where I come from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, that, 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 that was just my that was just my, my my fair beginnings. I'm not in the hood daily. I'm not. I rarely ever go to the hood. Yeah. But uh, but when I got a chance to do something back for the hood, I'm gonna do it. See, if, go yeah, white hood. people graduate. White people graduate from their alumni and send the hell of money back. Mm. Yeah. So that's. That's what they own, and shit. I'm yeah, on because they that actually people. got something from it. It was beneficial. I was gonna say the that's it going up too. Mm -hmm. So you can't yeah, give back to something to give to you. It right. did though. You just didn't take what it was trying to give you. Nah. I, I go to the hood every Friday night and Saturday night to get some motherfucking chicken. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> my biggest scarf. <laughs> My my biggest, I got life lessons from dodging bullets. 
I know how I listen. I know how slow life gets when bad shit happens. Listen, so uh, I, 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 I'm not proud of this, but I think I, I, I told y'all this for the first time on which I'm probably the only person in there. Like I've been shot in the leg playing fucking basketball in the hood. Yeah, but she, if if you had some hood savvy about yourself, you would have known when when goddamn it was time to go. <laughs> nigga, we was just hooping at the park, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the, my my biggest scar from the hood, like I feel like the ninety percent of my my the raising of my children is to make sure they don't get raped, and I know that ain't normal. Hmm? But we just know, yeah, like <laughs> when you grow up in the hood, it's so many folks touching little kids from loved ones to the gay dude down the street. Like I feel like ninety percent of my childhood is just to make sure my children don't get touched, and I know that's a hood thing. Yeah. What? Because you got yes, because you got people who covering up for their uncles. You got the little boy down the street who's stronger than everybody who done been touched himself. Now he touching <laughs> little boy. Like no, you laughing, but this is the truth. <laughs> no, this is the truth. Oh, oh my man. god, this is crazy. Hey, if you black, if you black in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong. You is crazy, you bro. I'm they telling say you, he bro. Trying to say that the the black kids in the hood, a lot of them, a lot of the parents and stuff cover that up. They do. This is fucking they crazy, do. bro. Now that's my biggest. That, that's my biggest I, I, scar from the hood. Is the like, possibility of getting touched? Yeah, yo, yeah, because it happens so much, but it's underreported. You want to know <clears throat> the amount of people, kids, fuck people, kids who get touched in the hood that that's just being cush hush about it. Man, I seen the girl. She got a, a F. This shit is wild. Hood, nigga. She beat the teacher with a stapler, nigga, because she gave her an F. Y'all don't think that this sound crazy? Head. That, that, shit ain't normal. that shit ain't this, normal, said, nigga. That's my biggest scar from the hood. I be raising my kids like somebody out here trying to touch them. Like, can I stay at my friend? No. Can they stay over here? They mama cool with it. But this you shit ain't don't sound wild, wild to y'all, though. It's wild. I'm telling uh, you, that's happens, my greatest scar from the hood. Oh, but I have I have heard a lot of people from you know the hood tell me that though. Hmm. That child molesters and stuff like that and the people be knowing and they just be like oh that's just how he is or something be you know, awesome. listen i i could mm -hmm. tell the girls at the school who let who who got babysitted by their uncles that's fucked oh up. no i heard about that stuff about family members yeah that's the hood, family. nigga yeah. your grandma stay down the street your cousin stay uh five five houses down all y'all stay in the same neighborhood that's why when they go down out there, go down out there, cause your family right there, and they family right there. So it's for the it's for the happen. Somebody did a um. Oh, somebody, <laughs> what the fuck? Other shit right now, bro. <laughs> you see that super chat? <laughs> what is going on? Let me see. What the fuck? Yeah, I see it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they say, let me read some of these super chats. Let me yeah, see let me get to what people are talking about. Let me see. All right, Slimmy, I appreciate you, big dog. I got to drop you for All right, y'all. Right. Y'all be All right, my boy. <laughs> let me read these super chats, and then I'm going to see what's happening. Um, shout out to Slimmy, um, man. Shout out to Miss K says, honey pack pills are embarrassing. Change your diet. <laughs> hey, no, they don't honey honey pack. I, don't, I just learned about it when I'm getting on here. Uh, Miss Case. You know about a honey pack? I never knew what that was. I, I got a honey pack in there. I, I will put it on screen. Jesus Christ. No limits to beef ever, kids. Uh, kids, fair game too. Shit, y'all. Hey. That, that, no, that's a woman. That's a woman mindset. I promise. Ebony76 says, save yourself and your kids. Don't procreate in this world. Too many strikes against you at birth. With the skin we're in, do not do it. Let the seed go. Also says, told you, uh, now do you want your kids to go through this nonsense? Don't do it. Chris about 777 says, all love of the, uh, of the polls and views. This is a good show. Ken J, thank you. I appreciate you. Ken J says, the hood is an accelerated course and life lessons. 
Facts. I, I mean, that was uh, that wasn't Ken J. That was my dog J. Ben. Ken J. says, "Where the bag chaser spirit come from? Ad the hood? No, absolutely not." Uh, Black Beauty says, "Hood is trash. Ninjas fighting for scraps and pennies. Think their opinions matter when nobody pays attention to them. That's a fact." No choices and demand respect. That is 100% facts. Solution I, I almost tell her about herself. <laughs> Black Beauty is cool. She got thick, she got thick skin, too. Uh, 2K uh, is undefeated. Uh, 2K is undefeated, says the Solution Trucking Channel. Michael Mitchell says, question, Anton, do you attend class reunions? I went to the first one at 10. After that, I said, no, nah, I ain't going to no more. I, I don't need that shit because I'm cool. They know, no they know who I am. Team Fat from the Dirty South says, I'm pretty sure that's not the real fatty, but um, mm -hmm. says, I touched Anton in junior high. I didn't know any better. <laughs> what? I don't know, bro. Yeah, that is <laughs> Portugal. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Jake Fever says, all that grape talk with Diddy and the background is crazy. Shout out to Jake Fever. And then Jay Ben is in the building, also says, remember old dude from the Bronx that got shot because he touched on, he got touched on and didn't get paid. The hood is wild, nasty. 2K has a mild point. Shout out to Jay Ben, bro. Appreciate it, Jay. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get a couple more people in here and see what they talking about real quick. Reggie Rail. You got to touch on that. Reggie. Oh, what up, what up, what up? What up, though? What's the word, bro? Shit, man, I can't call it, man. How you living? 82028, long time no speak, my boy. Slow slow motion. What's the word, big dog? I appreciate you. Uh, man, already, man. Shit, I'm going to say what's up to everybody. Quint, what's up with you? Pretty lady from the DMV area. What's happening with you? What's 2K that? and my and my Will Smith voice, my boy. Keep Tupac name out your biscuit lip and mouth, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you will be the rest of that conversation there, right there. There will be no Tupac slammed around this motherfucker. You hear me? <laughs> Listen, you the type of nigga that protect your uncle that's that, that's touching the kids in the neighborhood. Hold on, wait, oh, Reggie, no, Reggie, I, Reggie, I, Reggie. I, 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 no, see, I, I, Reggie, Reggie, you want to be on camera? <laughs> you want to be on camera? I, man, it's cool. <laughs> It's cool. I, I'm cool with it. All right. Well, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this too well, but I'm I'm in the truck, so. All right, I got you, Red. Hold see, Reggie, y'all y'all got a problem with addressing the niggas. You need to address because you're cool with them. Like, ain't nobody gonna address Tupac was the first nigga with a corset. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga right. Tupac had on a corset, bro, with a motherfucking nose ring, and then want to get in the bathtub and take little fruit ass pictures. I'm telling you, the whole I, East Coast, uh, West Coast beef <laughs> came from him wanting to get in one of them diddy parties. That, 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 that's how I it man, was. Tupac ain't never want to get up in no diddy party, man. You see, everybody do them little pictures, man. Ain't nobody said nothing about Prince taking them man, pictures. This. Ain't nobody said nothing about Joe taking them little type of pictures. See, Young Thor had a whole dress on. That's it, exactly. Who you think was his role model? It was pop, come nigga. On, man. Now, boy, come on, man. Get out. Get out of here, man. Hey, come shit, on, man. Hey, listen. <laughs> Hell no, nah, dog. Pop was, <laughs> pop was one of the biggest fakers in hip hop. If I if I don't know no better. Girl, pop was girl. not no hood nigga. He grew up with uh Black Panther, Revolution Mindset Thoughts, and then he right. dubbed himself down. Just like that first dude who came on the show. He told, he seen how cool that shit was. That was Pop. Pop when he did what them cool niggas were doing and got killed for it. That's, that's facts. Hey. And, and, and I give you that, and 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 it, and it jump back into the beginning of the conversation. Rick Ross do the same thing. Don't nobody respect Rick Ross, man. After that man became goddamn Officer Ricky out this. But morning. no, but see, let me let me, let me say this. Really talking let me when say it comes this. to a hood part, you know what I mean? Let me, let me say this though. But see, this is how fake the game is, right? Because everybody was against Ross when Fifty was going back and forth with him, and then they was calling him Officer Ricky and shit. And then all of a sudden, because they want to, they want somebody to defeat Drake. All of a sudden, Ross is the shit. That's amazing, no, y'all. Right. No, bro, that's amazing to me how niggas switch up. They wait, look. People was talking big shit, and it was against Ross, and they were saying that he was fake. Now all of a sudden, they saying that Ross is the truth because they want him to go at Drake. This shows you how fake the game is, bro. The game no. is so fake. It's it's a. It's an emotional state, and motherfuckers pick and choose they side. 
based off of he what showed you like, how unknowledgeable the game done turned soft. Drake, me, uh, goddamn me, Ross didn't lose to 50. And I, I, but no, I never said that he lost or he won. My, 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 my point, my point has nothing to do with whether he lost or he won. My point is how fake fans are and how they how they switch up depending on who they don't like at the time. Yeah, yeah, and, and I get right. that. But to say that, that I, I don't even want to say that pe people enjoyed the Ross and 50 back and forth. Still do to this day. That never got off of wax, really. It, they had a little touch up at the award shit. show. Yes, it did. But it, yeah, but it ain't getting to no shooting shit. Yeah, it, it ain't really getting to really like no physical shit unless it was like maybe between the camps. And like, I think that's the main reason J. Cole like bowed out of that shit, even though he know the main thing, it wasn't really about him. It was more so that this that Kendrick did was more so towards Drake and not really J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? So I hey, listen, like, hold on, I'm going to bow about this show. Because, come on now, talk to rapper, him. Bro, but come however, on, talk to him, man. But wait, but 2K is right. By what? Play, because he was, he was a studio gangster, man. And and I give you that, and that was just probably around the, the folk he was around once he got around Shug, because you know his, his rap did change up once he got shot and once he was around Shug, because you know that first album, man, it was it was like life stories. This nigga's like Fair. one of the best storytellers ever outside of goddamn Nas and Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, I. My favorite rapper was always Biggie. Like, because when you talk about rapping, not storytelling, I'm talking about cadence and flow. I feel like Biggie could have still been around with his style. Big got right the there. greatest album of all time, bro. Who? Fact. Biggie. Got life the greatest, the that's the greatest yeah. album of all time. And I, I, yeah, I ain't yeah, going to say yeah. it's the greatest album, but it, it, it was a great album. I there is no I, album better than great. great album. What's the, no, what's I, the I, have, I have to disagree with you. What's a better and album than Life mean, After Death? Better I'm album not flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Hell no, fuck that. DMX, DMX's Wait, album is not better than Life After Death. Bro, are you out of your mind? Are you serious? Listen, I, I know a lot of folks. DMX's say album is better than Life After Death. Yes, sir. Hands he down. Came over. <laughs> hey, yes, hey, sir. hey, 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 no, that down, was a good boy. take. Like I say, I, like I say, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna take nothing away from Life After Death, but that was a great album. But I'm not gonna say it's the greatest of all time. But I, you just asked yep. me what was a better album, and in my opinion, that's just a better album, AD. That's all I'm saying. No, I Listen, cause I, I like Rick Rock album. I mean, Rick Ross album. He put together phenomenal bodies of work. Now I ain't gonna say he put together the best singles, but you could put raw shit in and let it slide one through. And then get some life lessons out of it. <clears throat> y'all on might be crack. Y'all on crack for now. I don't think that he is, but you know. I got if I'm on crack, if I'm on crack, I got it from the white neighborhood, nigga. <laughs> y'all really on crack tonight. <laughs> y'all are on crack, bro. It's all you don't think Nas is a close. I, I like there is no like album. It. There is no listen. Life After Death is a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece of storytelling. It's a masterpiece when it comes to money, beef, um, lifestyle. I mean, fuck. Ten Crack Commandments. All the way up into... To, with the I'm fucking you tonight to... Wishing on my downfall. I mean, from the beginning, it's literally a cinematic masterpiece all the way up into um, Notorious Thugs. And then it goes into the Midwest and he switch up his style and he do they style better than them. And then he bring it back all the way into my downfall with, with DMC from Run DMC. Man, fuck, bro. That album is insane. There is no album on the face of this planet today that is better than life after death no album is better than life after and, and, uh, listen, that, that's a hard say bro it's, it's some been some man, good we, shit I'm to come tell, out yeah, tell, we, 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 that, we, that's we, a hard we, say we'll be all about that I get, I get, no I'm no, no i, I give you that the, the that album shit. is a classic I I the it's a, it's a classic. there is no it's one, album it's one of my favorites i'm gonna say this listen this shit here gets slept on like a motherfucker but the life of pablo Kanye, I don't know why that shit didn't do what it did, 
But if you go back and listen to it right now, I think that's one of his greatest albums over. Um, it's Dark not Ass. better than my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. No, it's not. My nah. listen. No, it's not. That shit had some shit. No, it's it. not. No, it's okay. Not. No, it's hey, not. Dark fantasy. Dark fantasies was great. Don't get me no, wrong. No, dark fantasy is boy. another masterpiece. Is not that, dark fantasy life. is a masterpiece, and I'm telling you, the oh, life, of life of Pablo, of Pablo right over my twi my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. I'll put the graduation over. Uh, uh, oh shit! Graduation. Shit! I'll put Pablo. the graduation. Graduation will be number one. What? I'll put the graduation over. Man, come on, man. listen. Graduate, and, I put graduation and, 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 and over. I category. That's pick one. No, no, no. Pick right. one. Is it is the flesh of my flesh? Which one is the greatest of all time? No, nah, I'm talking about in just cat in the Kanye catalog. I'm not gonna put that over. No, there. no, no, no. What what is the greatest album, rap album of all time? Rap not come time. on, all time. That that's loaded. That's, that's loaded. I time. said man. all time. What hold on? Hold on wait, you you a you a 82 baby, time? I'm an 82 baby. You 82 baby. I right, bet I'm an 87 baby. So look here. <laughs> over that one. Man, I'm, it, it's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers to say in the hell no, but I'm still, I'm gonna always say Illmatic is probably the greatest one of all time, bro. No features, no skips. That's just okay. going straight through every time. And, and tell, like, if if I have to even the the the, the biggest album that was had a big impact on my life, it was the goddamn me the Chronic 2001 album. Now I know it but might, that, and that's that. fair. I'm okay with impact, but I'm saying that the greatest album of all time. It's hard to tell because most of the music is based on our life. It's the soundtracks of our life. No, general. no, no. So because that, yeah, some music, some music is no. Because some music is one hundred percent timeless. Timeless. No matter timeless. what era you in, whether you was before it or afterwards, when you listen to that shit, it's like what the fuck, bro. From the very beginning of the album, when he was talking about them being double parked by the hydrant and. You know what I'm saying? And all of that stuff. The whole, the very first song captivated you. He telling you a story and you don't even know what the fuck is about to happen. You're like, damn. And you paint the picture you in your mind. I'm going to tell you how hard Kanye was hitting. Kanye had that broke, 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 five broke. We ain't got it. Nigga, that's a skit. Oh my God. That shit was iconic. <laughs> ain't got no car. Ain't got no home. Can't. Man, yo, bro, that was the, that was a skit. That's how iconic that motherfucking album was. That was a skit, nigga. We ain't got it. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's too crazy, man, bro. That that boy, that shit was that shit was on some shit, Anton. That shit was on some shit. That's not even the best Southern album. That, that's not Southern. Kanye not Southern at all. Oh no, 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 no. Half of the shit that y'all saying, bro. Like it can't even compare us to some of the shit in the South, bro. How long that? I'll do us one now. Of those southern albums. Cause, hey, cause you, you say what you want to the We want, probably want the most lyrical, but nigga, we know how to put together some gumbo, nigga. Man, listen. Nigga, like, there the there is on nothing the on the face of this earth that is better than life after death. If you got to pick one album that you gonna listen to, or you got to give something to the aliens after we all perish on the face of this fucking <laughs> earth. And you got to say, hey, this is what hip hop was. You giving him life after death. There is okay, no other thing that you can give him other than life after death for him to basically encapsulate exactly what rap music was and hip hop was. Listen, you got to give him life after death. There is no other album you can give him. If we going for the win and we man, talking we about giving an uh, alien mean, a mixtape, I'm going to give him that new sexy red. Like you know what? Hell I'm going to nah. give him that new sex. Hell right. nah. this, the, the aliens will never come back. Them aliens, they never, yeah, they never coming back. Nah, hell oh, nah, they never coming back. back. <laughs> nigga, I, I just, I just free <laughs> humanity, nigga. I just hell free nah. humanity. We ain't got to worry about no Space Jam 3 or shit. The aliens ain't never coming back. I give them that, that new sex of red. They hell nah, there seems Earth. to be, there seems to be no intelligent life anywhere on this planet. Get rid of that shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> they is not playing that shit in the spaceship. The beats be fire. The raps be horrible. Man, no. That that gonna sound like an elementary student that raps. That, that, that shit. Sex and Red <laughs> sound like a, a upgraded like, cheerleader. I don't like Sex and Red. The, the, the ratchetest I can get is Glorilla. Uh -uh, I don't like that 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 man's voice. That, and, that shit don't win. And I know y'all like Glow, but this gotta be said right here. 
Y'all letting go off the hook with that DUI shit. Y'all y'all hate every no, y'all y'all hate every other every other drunk driver in the world that 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 that, that wreck shit and kill people. But Glow no. get a pass. No, Glow don't get no pass. Glow Glow hanging out with ratchet ass Megan. So that's the reason why she's in the position that she's in. Every every person that Megan hangs with, she you know she brings out the the, the alcoholism in. Like Megan, no. could they they big it right now? If you go check if you go check the the heart post of the internet right now. They bigging up Glow for getting a DUI, acting how she act doing a DUI, and then posting a picture of a liquor bottle on top of her head when she gets out of jail. I've seen that video. From- I've seen that video pop up on my feed. I haven't watched it yet, though. No. She ain't she ain't getting no pushback for, for driving drunk. Nah. A lot of a lot of a lot of women are. Shit, I ain't even heard about that one. And then she got and then she got a car, her boob was all out. And, you know, it was hard. I, I heard about it. But I don't really respect men that listen to female rappers, so it, it's I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I I like female rap, but I can't listen to that shit in the car. The only I female rapper who I would go and see. Exactly. The only female rapper that I'm gonna go and see that I would pay money to go see me as a man. L- Lotto. <laughs> no. Lotto go hard, man. Lotto go hard. Lotto go hard now. She hey, say. you know who can rap, uh, nigga? That chick from LSU, Fly Jake, and she she got some bars. Man, I'm not listening to no female rappers, bro. The only female <laughs> rapper. Hold on, now, nigga. Lotto go hard now, cuz. The only female rapper that I'm gonna pay money to see, and I paid money for, to see them, Nikki. But it ain't came yet. Is Missy Elliott? That's it, bro. That's it. Yeah. Miss she, she got a nah, Miss Yellis coming with uh. She actually had bars. And and I'm gonna pay money. I'm paid money to go see that, and so I'm gonna go see that shit. But other than that, I wouldn't pay money to see any any woman. Miss Yella was a stud muffin, man. She wanted to be us too bad. <laughs> now maybe true. Look him before, he, sure look him before the surgery. No, I'm not going to see none of them hoes. I mean, I understand. I understand if a woman go see him, but I'm not going to see him. Anton, why they say you going to see Ice Slice? I think they all cool, <laughs> but I think that they cool. They make they make music for women. Like I can't. I'm not. No. I can't imagine Anton. bumping that shit in my. Yo, when I was on my way into the uh, out here today, and I jumped in the car, um, I look. I put on uh, D-Lo. I put on some Ice Wear Vezo. I played some Larry June. And then I ended it, and then I ended it off with Nipsey. I can't I can't put on a female rapper and get okay. get into a so, space. That's for women. A monster, a monster, does she not out rap all the men? No. Oh my god. Like I like I don't what like I can't maybe like she did she did phenomenal and that's that's dope. But but here's the thing, like when I hear women's voices on tracks, I fast forward that shit. Like I just can't. It's nothing you know that they can really that, say. Daughter? It's nothing that they can really say that can really resonate with me. But say, guys, but Anton, you, I would, you really like that? You really like that D-Lo album? Hell yeah, that shit oh, is. Hell yeah, yeah. D D-Lo made me want to go back to the trap and break a whole thing down. Don't sell it by whole. I mean, <laughs> dime it all up. I want to. Oh yeah, that all shit hit. Nothing old. Hell yeah, man, that shit. I, 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 listen, I listen to it, man. I, I got through like maybe like man. Go back and like, listen to like, go like, listen to it from front to like D-Lo jamming, bro. Tripping, bro, everything Obama sound like they, they, every every song sound the same though. No, that shit. Like, that shit right is. Like, like, let me tell you something, bro. If you can't get no money to that shit, like if that don't motivate you to go get money, I'm wrong. With you listen you. to the wrong thing, bro. Like it just puts you in that mindset. It's a trap out. No, it's just a hustler's album in general. Like it's no matter what yeah. you're doing, you you gonna grind. You gonna go get it. It's like that hustler music. That that D Lo got that. Oh, um, I tried, man. Yeah. I, I might have to run it back one more time, but I, that mm-hmm. first time it, it wasn't it to me. Nah, cause you gotta run that D Lo. Now, if you saw, I give him by, I give him by three. I give him by three songs on it. I was like, okay, this all right. The rest of it, I was like, ah, ah. Nah, no, bro, you need to go know. listen to that shit, bro. That joint. You need to live that D Lo. I, 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 I spin the block on it one more time. You do. You, do. you know why you can't listen to uh, women rap, down the Anton? Why is that? Because now nah, I, f- I figured this out when I was doing going to school to be an engineer. The frequency of their voice pierce your ears. Like 
No, I'm serious. I think they I think they rap it. They talk at a 5K frequency. Mm-hmm. And like a dude, they talk at a 4K frequency. So it's a more dull, it's an easy intake. But women, they talk at their high pitch and it's annoying to the human brain. That's mm-hmm. why yeah. niggas don't talk. But Glorilla just annoying you. Oh, you homo, whoa, 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 whoa. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> But no, somebody said it in the chat. Um, D-Lo do remind me of Jeezy, bro. Like, it gave me that feel. It give, it give me the same feeling when I, and my favorite, my personal favorite, not saying that it's the greatest Southern album of all time, my personal favorite Southern album of all time it's Thug Motivation One on One, bro. It it is like one on one. One on one is a top three album for me, bro. You can't put nothing above that. Uh, I mix with the uh, one Jesus yeah. drop for this summer. Right. The Trap or Die. That's John. You can't put number four Trap or Die. Man, listen, man. There is no Southern album. Day at college. There is no Southern album that I would listen to above Thug Motivation One on One, bro. Yeah, I don't Trap or Die. Album. Trap or Die. You know how many lawnmowers I pushed through the hood, driving chopper die, <laughs> cutting yards, because I couldn't find a plug at fourteen. Nigga, like, like, what was it? An electric so, lawnmower? Nah, nigga, with gas, nigga. <laughs> well, shit, electric. I was pushing that bitch. That's how. I, oh. That was my first hustle. A push lawnmower going door to door. I cut your front and back yard forty dollars. Yeah, that was the first hustle, bro. Yeah, I, lo- I like D Lo. I like a lot of shit. That's that. Well, I like I like a lot of stuff. Uh, spot check, but it's very few times that I can hear an album of like, yeah, that's that that nigga got it. D-Lo got it, bro. He got it all. Yeah, I fuck with D-Lo, cuz. Yeah, like I I go to a D-Lo show. That's how much I fuck with. I wouldn't do that, but my who? He, cuz he don't even rap no more. He just put the play the beat and 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 the, the crowd carry. Lying for yeah, lying. but the whole crowd gonna be smelling like trees and shit. Like I ain't got time for yeah, that. Yeah, it's cool, bro. LRG, live the research group, bro. Come get you some uh, stuff. Yeah, bro, I can't do it. <laughs> By the way, huh? You, Carter, Carter, Carter. you like the Carter? Uh, the, the Carter, Carter one was my favorite. Carter. Carter. Yeah, I love Wayne's albums. Hell yeah. The the, the Carter one so slept on. Yeah, it is. You're yeah. right. And then uh, four hundred degrees is awesome. Uh, yeah. No, I know 400 degrees do slap, bro. It slap, but it ain't ain't nothing fucking with them Carters. Like 400 degrees was in the past at that point. Yeah, but still, bro, that 400 degrees is is. I go back and listen, lot, bro. Folks said Pastor Troy, man, you don't cut that shit off in a hurry. You don't like Pastor Troy? Uh, hell no, nah. I could never get in that shit. You don't mm. like the advice. Uh, I hate it, Pastor Troy. Where who from? Where you from? Oh, I know who from. Where you from? Who? Uh, what's my man name? Uh, shit, David Banner. Ain't he from where you from? Yeah, David Banner, Big Crit. Yeah, Big yeah. Crit. Big Crit is the man too. No, is it to me? Not- Big, you don't like Big Crit? Uh, uh-uh, Big Quick. If, if we being honest, I'm I'm an original Mississippi nigga, in and out. Big Creek sound like a recycled Texas nigga, bro. Dog, I can't believe you don't like um, Big Creek. No, I, I don't. I like his music, but it's not Mississippi. He sound like a rec- a recycled Texas. Nigga, Who else bro. from Mississippi besides them two? Oh, uh, well, I, all of them were born in Mississippi. From Snoop to Ross, all of them were born in Mississippi. Yeah, but who but grew he, up in Mississippi? Uh, Ray Sherman. That's an accurate representation of Mississippi. I like Ray Sherman. That's us. I like Ray Schremer. They you they different though. That's Mississippi. You yeah, can them tell niggas, them niggas ain't had nothing but some character. Yeah, them niggas is like borderline retarded though. That's Mississippi, nigga. Look at us. <laughs> I, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> That's us. That I'm telling you, I fuck with Creek music. <sighs> I like David Banner. But them niggas are like, well, Creek, I know he like a Texas. Reject all the slang, man. Dang, we don't talk like that in Mississippi, bro. Mm. Interesting. All right, I'm about to switch the subject real quick. I got to get y'all thoughts on it. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, Soldier Boy. 
What? Oh, Soldier Boy from Mississippi? Absolutely, Baseville. Really? Sorry, sorry, sorry yeah. that I couldn't take place in this ratchet ass conversation. I <laughs> Yeah, so I was born from Baseville, Mississippi. Now, how is that possible, Clay? I didn't know he was from Mississippi. Yup. All right, I'm about to show y'all. Let me see if I can get this up real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. I hate that hole. Hold on. Let me get Mika up here. I got to get this all right. No, 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 no. Oh, I came not lead. Lee. That boy's on fire. Nick, that was clutch how you put two and two together. I don't I don't see how you remember where you where you saw her from. I just it was just honestly, it was just like I just seen it and I'm like, man, I seen this hoe before. I did a That's review different, video on different it. people. Huh? She looked like uh you ever seen the movie, not get out, but the other one when they was red. Us I'm about to duplicate you, Mika. I'll give me a second, baby. She looked like the evil twin from us. Like <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? The girls, they wear the red. Well, my thing was, I was trying to, I, and that's my thing, like, because everybody was focused on the wrong girl on the video and the balloon pop video, and I'm going to play that in a minute. But I'm wondering if, how did everybody, I didn't miss it. I caught that shit immediately. I did not miss the red flag at all. I caught it from the very beginning. But how did everybody else miss that shit, bro? So I'm a, I'm gonna play this first, um, so that we can catch people up that may not be aware of what's going on. One of the women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Now let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all of this. You may remember her from this video as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. Well, today the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimono has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years, uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Uh, when I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex, but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? Uh, she also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have so in a general sense we get it right the idea of it is that she basically tried to finesse him and you know what i'm saying get a bag out of him and this is not even the first guy that she tried to finesse right but see before that we had did a review video well, i had did a review on a video on it and this chick right here is the chick that he's talking about and so you know what i'm saying she was on a balloon pop show but she was basically on there acting like she was better than everybody else. And I could play some of the clips if people want me to. But how did people miss the red flags? And when y'all seen the balloon pop show, do she look like the type of chick that would do that to y'all? Uh, honestly, from me having my experience from the hood, absolutely. This is, She's the key. She looked like the, 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 the typical stereotype. Or who can get anybody to believe anything and get you fucked over and she get her way all the time. You can tell by the veneer. You can tell by her hair. And you, she ain't doing no hard work. So I, I stay far away from her. She's a bitch and it's apparent as hell. Stay far away from her, bro. But every single guy 
that walked up and you know what I'm saying, that she even, that they asked, you know, with this whole balloon pop situation, she kind of like, you know what I'm saying, dissed them, but none of them ever came back at her, not one of them. They still were saying, oh yeah, she beautiful and all of this other stuff or whatever. All right. My name's Adana and I'm full grown. Uh, my talent about myself is that I know myself. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same what he did, he kept going. Well, that was his well, that's, introduction. That's, that's part of the show. Mm -hmm. Hold on. All right, so hold on. There you go. To what I was asking, more or less. You know yeah, what I mean? I didn't give too much of an answer because I was still... On I was fence. hoping someone would say something that I was thinking before I could say it. I feel it. But um, Everybody hikes I in here. I popped it because... Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was, but yeah, it was definitely the distraction of the see-through pant. And then the, and they, I mean, they the ivory, jewelry, yeah. like the earrings for me. Okay. Yeah, that's it. No, I feel if it. I have to go, well, based off looks. Yeah, we splitting hairs in here, so. More or less. <laughs> More or less. All right. Okay. And then let's go down here. You end up popping this. Yo, one. yo, I, I could <laughs> never be on a fucking show like this, bro. You just promised you wanted to be me. I want you so bad, bro. I know too. I want to roll. 20 bitches in one room. I want to tell them about they sell. They, there's a, the one last week, this nigga, them bitches told him about himself. He said, fuck this shit. He went in on all they asses. <laughs> nigga, one by one, he told they asses off. But like, you, you ain't listening to what Green Shirt said. Like, she was hoping you know. that they said something that she like, that means she don't have her own thoughts. You know. Like, mm -hmm. if she were to have an Instagram or a Twitter page, It'll be all retweets of everybody else think that because she don't think for herself. That's you know, everybody was focused on a short chick that was over there in the black and the white. They never really focused on the one that was in the green, bro. That's where they get fucked up. The short chick in the black and white gonna fuck. The only thing about her, she suffered from motherfucking pretty privilege. But Ooh, she the one, no, the, Which the one? one was more. The one at the end right there, the one that was kind of, she was coming off as fucked up because she, she the pace seller. She's the more, listen, she was it, more blatant about it. No, so anytime you want to run for a girl, mm -hmm. the first girl is the pace seller. Whatever she say, the rest of the girl is going to go and follow suit with it. So that's how she felt. And that's why all the girls felt like that about him. If she would have started off with some good, they would have kept it with some good. Women, that why you never holler at women when she with her home girls, cause if it's Nigga. fuck no. Nah. I watched enough of these shows that women are fucking mean bitches. They spirit is of the fucking devil. It, <laughs> it's, it's fucking wild. Right like, over there, queen. Like, 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 like no diddy, nigga. It'd be like some nice looking dudes. They got that shit and the bitches fucking start popping and shit. Queen. That's what I said. What'd you say, What'd you say, Mika? Hey, sorry, bro. What'd you say, Mika? There's absolutely what well, the last guy that was just on. There's absolute like nothing wrong with him, nothing. Mm. I don't know. Like I, that nigga's pants was see through. He has all. He got on Zara pants. I mean, they're not that. That the material is not that. Yeah, the pants from Zara. Oh, well, I don't know if y'all have that down there. But yeah, I know what good it's, it's a clothing store called Zara, and it's just like really cheap clothes. It's like H and M. No, like no, Zara is not really cheap. Zara is the perfect. Uh, store for the middle class. <laughs> Zara just hike up prices, same clothes from the same place in China. No, Z listen, it's it's okay. This the levels. It's H and M, Zara's. Then you got high end. Zara's is that perfect mix between that middle high yeah. class and middle class. Okay, I will give it to you, but it was nothing wrong what he had on. How much do clothes? That, I, listen, I thought that Zara just only sold women's clothes. Nah, nah, no, they, they got so dude clothes too. But see, women might think it's cheap because on this side of their shit, women clothes are cheap. But you know, dude shit, like a pair of slacks from H&M will be $20. You go to Zara, you're going to get a pair of slacks for $60, but they, they good quality. If you go to Nemeth, you're going to pay $200 for them slacks. Shit. So... Nigga, I go to fucking American Eagle to get all my jeans for the last 10 do you, years. Do you really? <laughs> That's 
present. <laughs> I just go to Levi's. Well, I have fucked up the the last weekend. <laughs> but that's a real Man, I, I ain't watched the Levi. Man, you know who? Uh, Lucky Brand got good jeans too. Who? What? Man, a lucky Brand. Oh, I guess that's some, uh, my man. <laughs> I'm a log off. <laughs> no, I know what nothing is. This is not. Yo, I just made a mistake and bought the wrong numbers, bro. Like I put them fucking jeans on. I was looking just yeah. like Obama out in this bitch, bro. <laughs> you didn't get no five hundred ones, bro. No, I had got. Five, go I bought five hundred fives because oh, I thought that I was gonna switch it up and do something different. Man, yeah, I you did something different. <laughs> <laughs> I had. <laughs> Dog, Dude, I what's, the, what's the nice like fitted taper Levi's? That, Hold on, uh, wait, wait, wait. It's the taper ones is five twelves. They dope. Okay, actually, really dope. But I walked in and it was so high because I rode my bike in the, into the office from my studio. And I was like, damn, these jeans is riding up on me so hard. Like, did I get them from the women's section or what? And so I couldn't understand it. And, I, and so when I got up off my bike and I walked in and niggas was looking at me like, <laughs> you, know, they, you know how niggas be paying attention, but they don't want to say nothing yeah. else. Because they know that I write their paycheck, so niggas was trying to act like they didn't see my jeans and shit. And I'm like, hey, I, and so I asked them, I said, damn, do these jeans look weird? And the niggas just start laughing, right? I said, damn, I, I got to take these jeans off, and y'all niggas better not take y'all phone off and take no picture, bro. I just, I, they were so weird, bro. I don't know what's wrong with them jeans. And then they yeah, was, it, it, they was like baggy at the bottom, but they wasn't like the good baggy. I said, man, get these fucking jeans up off me, bro. You, I think you had the boot cut. I'm looking them up right now. Yeah, you got to know your, your numbers at the Levi's store, bro. I know my numbers. I did something yeah, different. Bro. Your boot cut is out of style now. That's not a thing. Y'all niggas wear boot cut jeans? Nigga, like 15 years ago, nigga. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Like, the worst part ago. about it is, bro, I asked that punk ass motherfucker at the, at the Levi's store. I said, hey, man. Oh, Anton, you had on these motherfuckers? <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> these the Levi's they give you when you get out of prison, bro. <laughs> <laughs> these don't them stepdaddy Levi. Oh my god! What's wrong with five hundred fives? Oh damn! Ask Anton. What it look like? They look, they look, they look regular, regular like oh. Oh, okay. they they look no they look normal until you put them on. Oh yeah, they do oh, look right. normal. What's <laughs> like wrong with the bottom? They're not flattering. They just oh yo, <laughs> like some uh, come with an Acon, smack that CD or some shit. Like. <laughs> so y'all, so y'all oh, never heard of y'all never heard of Lucky Brand? Yeah, I heard I of them before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and like I wear, I wear sevens, sevens for men too. I knew you. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, I asked that motherfucker. I said, "Hey, bro, is these?" I said, "You know, is these gonna fit right?" He was like, "Oh yeah, they sound, they they gonna look good." I was like, "Man, you sure, bro?" He's like, "Yeah, bro." I was like, and so I had Rita with me. I said, "Hey, come over here in this dressing room. Let me try these on." And so I tried them on. But I, for whatever reason, I didn't look in the whole mirror. I was like, these look cool. She was like, ah. She was like, ah. She was like, oh. <laughs> she was like it may take a minute to get used to them, but I don't, I don't, I don't know about those. I was like, ah, we're going to roll. We're going to do something different. We're going to change the style up. And that shit was so <laughs> rash, bro. Nigga, when we go yeah, to the... Like to the to the events with the kids, everybody got on joggers in 2024. Yeah, because I, I, I thought I was not, gonna not, be grown, bro. I was trying to be more grown. Shit. Yeah, now you no, get into you like grown style. look joggers. You got the you got the, like the athletic look joggers. Like you can you can dress some joggers up real nice. Oh wow! Yeah, exactly. That's a person. Oh. <laughs> Carl Winslow. Carl Winslow. I did wear those. Parasukos. <laughs> I did. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it looked like you might have had on the baby fat jean with that fur. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said baby fat. <laughs> I know me. I had, I had fur 
Sukos. You I had, had the Sergio jacket to go with it, didn't you? You had the jacket to go with it? <laughs> oh, nigga, she had those. <laughs> the little those, um... jacket? Yeah. With the little vape those, those, those were, yeah, those were the Oh, my God, yo. Yeah. <laughs> that damn <laughs> cat on the back. I, I did have yeah. <laughs> Oh, Looking like me too from Pokemon wild. on her shit. <sighs> I'm gonna just yeah. take my jeans, bro. I'm gonna just go with what works. No, man. Ralph Lauren jeans are hard to find. No, that's not a thing. I don't like Ralph Lauren. I, I'm, jeans. I'm, I dress for comfortability now. Like, give me a Nike uh, track suit. Like, them just they, they feel man, awesome. Man, those those, those, they, stretch, they those stretchy jeans are the are the freaking business. That little stretch material, that's the shit. Man, you got you be wear, you wear pajama jeans. Thing. No, like they got stretch. Like most jeans that work out stretching. Look at them. Like, that's, that's, those are pajama that's, that's, jeans. Don't tell nobody like again. Flex. Like no, that's like all nice jeans. Like what you talking about? Like, oh, no, man. no, Quinn. Those is not. Dog, my mama wear them jeans. I swear to God, bro. Them is not real jeans. Those is Quinn. like they like pajama. You ever you ever seen that those uh those commercials, them late night infomercials, where they like pajama jeans? They look no, like no. Jeans. Nigga, like they're like, like nigga, you can move. No, nah, because they stretchable. They pajama jeans, nigga. Oh, the man, these you, are real life. They're Quinn walking flex, around nigga. with some all-purpose leggings on. You can wear them bitches to the gym. They call the jeggings. The no, you they're like, not. They are, are nigga. Them. I'll be back. You got <laughs> no, <laughs> don't all don't. purpose leggings. Nigga, those are jeggings, bro. See what I say. <laughs> what I say? Quinn, you wearing jeggings, my nigga. I told you you had no jeggings. Yeah. Now, I wear those all the time. Quinn, the bad bitch at home, y'all. I'll never forget him for this. He's a bad bitch. <laughs> I wear those all the time. It's okay, Quinn. Oh, this nigga wearing pajama jeans, bro. Damn. I said my mama yeah. with some of them on. And I said, Mom, them ain't even real jeans. I said, that's just a uh, design. Somebody yeah, said that I... singing on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned this. I used to go shop with my horn girl. She said, soft jeans that stretch is what I should buy. Those is jeggings, nigga. I got them in Levi's too. Man, Which no, one? Man. I don't know. I think like that, the 554 well, yeah, or something. Like, Quinn the type of nigga that wear a sweater and a jacket at the same time. They call him a <laughs> <laughs> he really be rocking them twackets. He be putting the so shit. Nigga, I like to be comfortable. They stretch on the thighs. Nigga, they stretch yeah. on the waist. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you don't have feet in them. Damn. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> nigga, do it. Hey. Accentuate your hips. What the fuck is wrong? What do you mean? They, nigga, I don't get it. I don't know where y'all be buying y'all's busted jeans from. Mika had some of them on when we sat courtside. Yeah. What? They stress. That's nigga sevens. Do you ever wear sevens or is that a white people? Yeah, I, I said that you had the seven jeans on because they Nigga, you wearing girl jeans? I, I need stretch. I know why I need stretch. Why do you need stretch? I need stretch too. I got a big ass, nigga. I got a mini. <laughs> <ass. laughs> <laughs> Wait, listen. No jeans. Oh, no, I got these squats. I got like big thighs and shit. Like Quinn, I work out. No, no like, jeans should never have a single number for a size. All your shit you? should be twenty eight and up, bro. <laughs> the, the fact that you and Mika both wear seven. To let you no, know, seven is the, it's the name of the jeans. It's called no, seven. That's the name of the jeans. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about the size. <laughs> no, so, yeah, oh, wear shit. Seven. I wear a seven, though. <laughs> okay. You had me wear that, my boy. But they stretch, they stretch jeans. I that's wear 34, 30, I wear 34, 32s. <laughs> you probably nigga that come in the store, they'll say you some high waisted jeans and, uh, and brand new bottle when you need to go. Yeah, I saw that nigga yeah, from high waisted jeans. Maybe I go to my damn closet, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back, nigga. Let me see what my Levi's is. I'll be back. Don't say, don't say your jean size, dog. Not lying. Don't say your, don't say your type, nigga. He, Quinn type, nigga, come back with an eye even size. Yeah, I wear a twenty-one. <laughs> 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 
know how real niggas we were. The Eva E or Gene sign. That was 20 salaries. <laughs> 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 Real fuck around with well, 29, man. Hey, oh, hey, crazy, dog. Don't say your jeans says online, Quentin. No oh, shit. <laughs> what women, if you want to know if your nigga gay or not, check his jeans out. If he were an odd number, he gay. If he were an odd number, he gay. I promise. <laughs> Oh, oh y'all so no ignorant, Nick. I hate y'all so much, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, bro. I knew it, though. So it's he said, like he had them seven. <laughs> 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 Shit, that's <fun. sighs> Okay. Oh 29 God. is real. Sign. Yeah, I, that is a real sign. That's definitely a real sign. <laughs> I used to work at True Religion. Uh, 27, 29. All, they got all that shit. But all the real mm. niggas, you you go by even number. <laughs> if I can't speak to 32, give me the 34. Don't give me no 33, though. Yeah, you don't want no 34, nigga. You like a 36, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 36, you're a 38. <laughs> but it ain't a 37, nigga. Nigga, y'all gotta stop saying y'all jeans. Why are y'all saying y'all jeans ass? Uh, damn. Mm -hmm. In the wintertime, I'm a 34. In the summertime, I'm a 32. Oh, my God. Quinn, you gotta stop buying them uh, pajama jeans, bro. <laughs> Get it sexy. Get it sexy. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Quit go fuck it up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Quit go throw me. He gonna be in the car. He gonna throw that leg up. Y'all niggas are wild. Jaggers on, he just get them out the dry and put them on, walk out. <laughs> <laughs> They're not jackets. What the fuck? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> the way his clothes cut out the dry, you know, your shit too tight when you do that, dog. <laughs> They want to stretch, nigga. We're out there. They need to stretch, nigga. Motherfuckers, couple of shit. Keep in mind, he said on here. Last after the album, he don't wear a draw. I know. You be wearing jeans, bro. Now that I remember. No, no, nigga, no. Oh my nigga. Hold on, my nigga. Put that hat on. Keep clearing them jackets. <laughs> Why did you laugh like that? <laughs> 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 I wear draws with jeans. I don't wear them like with uh, like joggers. Yeah, do like... you wear them with the jeggings though? <laughs> nigga, they're not jeggings. I don't have any <laughs> jeggings. Nigga. Mika said they jeggings. No, they're not. <laughs> no, nigga, you can go to the go to American. They're called Flex Fit. What are you talking about? 
Uh, he's on the he stretch team. Levi's have some. Like the 512 got stretching. Stretch wait, 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 my nigga. Hold on, hold on. No, you wearing joggers with no drawers? Yes. Yeah, he said. Joggers. Yeah. With no drawers? He said last time. He said he, he said last time. Like jogging pants. Or like that. Yeah, so nigga, know. so yo Johnson just be just be. <laughs> That's how he knew about. Who wore who wore who wore pants who joggers and no draws? In public, you, do, you do that shit in public. Yes, what's wrong? Shit. <laughs> and when I say that, my whole my whole parenthood to make sure my child don't get raped. That's who they see what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Freak ass nigga like you, <laughs> watch the rap. Oh my god, bro. Say <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh, 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 my Christ. <laughs> No, you gotta put some drawers on with your sweatpants, bro. No, yeah, man, but do it for do it for the kids, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably I got my my, my most TikTok followers. I, I was on a uh, uh, on this chick TikTok and I rolled up with my joggers on and she like paused the video and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little print. We had a little print. You know what? You had the little print. I had a little something, something. It was That's actually the more, it was, it was kind of demeaning for me and the other guy. Yeah, whatever, mm. those fun times. That's some wild shit, bro. Yeah, I'm be a bro. Hey, but you know what? Quinn, the type of nigga like that'll be like a lifelong friend, though. Like, cause he no, gonna be he real. Like, I, he real. I fuck with somebody like that. I can tell you this. I'm the nigga that if you call me at three o'clock in the morning, even though I got to work at five, I will come and fucking put air in your fucking <laughs> Don't do that, dog. Don't do that for No, I'll do that. No, it's not even for a chick. I'll do that for my homeboys, too. You're going to catch a charge with them gray jogging pants on, Quinn. Yeah, they're freako. They're going to put you on the sex offenders list, my nigga. <laughs> Real talk. I call my dad and tell him to call his friends and tell me they. I don't even want to play this hole no more, bro. <laughs> I forgot we cause every time we do out the hour, bro. We 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 look at 10 seconds of the video. <laughs> and that shit go left. <laughs> no, all the way. Guys, man, I don't understand it, bro. I'd be so weird. No. But no, I do <clears throat> when I dropped a um like a review video breaking this down earlier on the other channel. <clears throat> it was some people in the chat. I mean, not in the chat, in the comments. And they was going off on him like it was his fault, like that he getting finessed by these women. And that, that's another thing that I see. I think, um, <clears throat> like, if a guy get finessed or chicks me to him or whatever like that, they be like, oh, man, that's his fault. He he shouldn't even have been in that position. He should have been able to vet that whole yeah. stuff. Like, how the fuck you going to vet a, a chick that's going to finesse you later on? As a and she don't, and, and she, she don't, uh, she don't dress like a hoe or nothing either. Her Instagram isn't very hoeish. It's very like classy. Well, I don't know what her Instagram her is. Spirit, her spirit is mean as fuck, though. Here, let me see something. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, my name's Adonna, and I pop my balloon because I just feel like. Maybe you're the type of guy that I would see in passing and just say hello and that's it and keep it moving. But you do have a cool, you know, like, energy about you. And, uh, and in addition, you just said you like shorter women. I'm I'm on the taller spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. At least yeah. the girl in the white and black, she's a bitch. She's an hour right? bitch. There's no you're not really in my that. type. Um, right. uh, you are pretty. You carry yourself. You know, I look at beauty in so many different ways. You carry yourself very well. I like your outfit. It's just not something like if I saw her, we were going out, I would be like, can you change? You know what I mean? I, and it's not that it's bad. It's just that I'm not into that type of, you know, 
Different caliber. Different, yeah. yeah. You know, I like artsy women. But see, I see how she like throw a shot in there. Yeah, that was a shot. Different caliber. Yeah, I like art and different type okay. of things like that. Yeah. Fuck that hoe. Expense. You could be artsy, artsy and expensive at the same time. Oh, Trust me. I, I didn't say expensive. Oh, I thought you said. I'm sorry. I thought you said. You told expensive. on yourself. Yeah. You told on yourself. No, I thought that's what you said. What you sorry. Why? Why do all of the women always support this fuck shit, bro? Like, oh, I don't, for any of it. No, I'm saying know, with I the girl, the girls that was in the background with her, they was laughing. Yeah. Time that some because, shit. Because, 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 that's I mean, what I was saying. Like, if she say no, the rest of them say no. So if she get to be on fuck shit. Now the rest of them get to be on fuck shit. Yeah. Dude, out of it's, all it's, of these, <clears throat> sorry. Go <Don't> ahead. <laughs> Out of all these balloon pop shows, I seen one nigga, and it was a doctor, and he put all these bitches together. Yeah, he did. He, he, did. he, he was taking funny. shit to that nigga. And the, women, <laughs> the, women, the women got mad and was roasting him on like every channel for no reason. Yeah, they were trying to say that he was gay or some shit. No, and they were trying to say could... he was like arrogant and this and that. But the women are always like that. Like, look at the chick beside her with the hair. What is that? And she Look at she the host. Look at the hoes. Yeah. She even with the shit now. I'm telling you, you they just wait to see how far it can go. It's a what reason why when you first meet a woman, that first thing that they ask you, they say, you know, what do you do? That's them trying to unlock the respect that they want to give you. So yeah, the, minute he let, the minute he let one chick disrespect him, the, the rest of the chicks feel like they can disrespect him. I lie to all women when they ask me what I do. <laughs> do you really? Do you really, Quentin? Yep. You should. It's not that big. I, I, I say I'm an um, executive assistant and try to make it sound like real, like prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because I'm bored. I'll play with these hoes out here. They can't fuck with me. Yeah. Oh, you should. They ask me what I do. I'm, I'm, I cheat. I do a podcast. <clears throat> uh, do you say that? Yeah, I'm a podcast what, nigga. What do they say? Then what I they say after you say that? Try to play me. And then, like, I show up my left hand, like a bitch I'm married, I'm what you want to be. And uh, if it go a little further than that, I might show them, like, what I made the month before that. And then they, that's when they start looking at you. Oh, he cool. He cool. I don't even believe you show all of that, bro. I mean, you know, I don't believe why. I don't see why you would show all of that. I, I just like to shut a bitch, just like to shut some people up sometimes. Put it like that. I don't, I feel like, I, they don't I, know you. In Most real in like real life, I just be like, you know, I just say something simple. I make it up on the spot. I'd be like, yeah, I work for the post office or something like that. So. I've never had a man ask me what I do. Well, guys, don't we don't care. care. Yeah, we don't care, so that's why. <laughs> that's why when women tell us like that they boss bad, you got all these degrees. Is that your way of letting me know that you want to help with the bills? Because if no, not, it don't matter to us. I I don't understand why women, why women leave with that. Like, it will be like I've had people men that have known me for a long time and they're just finding out that I have two degrees. Yeah. Yeah, I just say, I make it up on the spot. I was just like, yeah, you know, I work at the front desk at a hotel or, you know, I work at the post, post office or some shit like that. Like, always wing it. <clears throat> always. You know, when a woman tells me she has degrees, then, then I ask her, are they paid off? And then we go from there. Y'all be asking too many questions. Yeah, if you put technician like, on the end of any word, it make it sound uh, real dope. Like I'll be like, I'm a podcast technician. I'm a fry technician. <laughs> like you just just add the word technician to the end of your profession, and then they they get lost in the south. Like say, me could do lashes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a lab technician. Man, I told this chick that I was on a podcast, and she, and she tried to make it seem like her her son. She goes, "My my son's on a podcast. He gets hundreds of views a week." <laughs> I was like, "What, nigga?" <laughs> she was so excited for that nigga. <laughs> and that, I mean, that's cool though. I let people live, but I don't. I don't. I never very rarely ever tell people what I do in real life. <clears throat> I'm starting to get some like the, the nigga niggas that I went to school with. They was like, "Oh, I seen you on Anton's podcast." I'm like, "Yeah, that's my nigga." I just yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, you might flex now. <laughs> I keep really? telling like, I told Reed, I said I gotta figure out how to get this nigga in the 360. Yeah. 
<laughs> they be confused. They be like, they be like that white nigga Quentin is on Anton's podcast. I'm like, dang, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up. Yeah, I'll be trying to. Um, I gotta figure some shit out. I gotta figure it out. But, mm-hmm. You don't got no regular job, um, two K. But don't insult me. Like like nine <laughs> to five. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the same thing me. as a regular job. <laughs> like what? Why is that no. insulting? Uh, having a job, like, crazy. Like most people be on this shit and they go back to their regular ass job and be like, mm-hmm. I got a regular like, job. When they yeah, yeah, but your regular job don't pay regular. <laughs> so what? It's still a regular job. So that so ain't regular, nigga. Like you, you got a job that that pays you your life worth. Like I, I flipped out at my last job because I'm getting paid fifteen dollars an hour, and I know my time is worth more than fifteen. How old an hour. were you when you getting paid fifteen dollars an hour? I'm just saying, I don't, I don't remember where I was in life, but I just remember. Okay. Like, hey, Quentin, I got your arch nemesis. You want to you wanna meet him again? Yeah, bring that nigga up. Is that you the know, nigga with the facade? Know, you, you already know who your arch nemesis is, Quentin? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to let 2K handle hey. my lightweight in this bitch. Hey, dude, don't be signing me up for shit. <laughs> What's up, sir? What's up, nigga? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got on a do rag and a bucket hat. All right, what the fuck you got going on, bro? What's up, bro? And, and hey, them that's on the ear Hey, 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 big head nigga. I know you like to cap and roast, nigga, but I can roast. With the best of them in the world, nigga. Well, you got Las hey, Vegas in your no background, nigga. Nigga, with nigga they, they, they just blew up the Tropicana, nigga. Don't have me blow up your spot, nigga, and come in hey, there like they did in Las Vegas and make the A's, nigga. I come to your spot and blow your shit up, nigga. You better. We was trying to get you in a 360 deal, nigga. I'm the ice cream <laughs> man, nigga. You understand me? I'm from the Bay, Master P, nigga. We do it on our own. I don't. You Anton can't give me no 360 deal, nigga. Oh, you white. Black men, all you black men and white face, mad at the hood. Now I was with you, and I was trying to speak your praises. Let me, let me, let me, let me point the right way. You were saying the hood. You were saying the hood. You were saying the hood. No, no, no. I ain't got to bow down. I'm just saying I was speaking your praises because you were saying the hood is good. So it, it wouldn't make Anton the man that he is because these niggas be so smart with their prestigious colleges from Cambridge. And they get green, goopy guacamole by a brawl with some big breastesses. So I was agreeing with you, bro. The hood is good. It make you the person that you are. It make you who you are, Anton. You know, Anton, you a married nigga that still think he got uh, uh, action at young brawls and can tell people dating advice. And you've been married for 30 summers. Nigga, sit your ass down. You can tell me about how to own a business. You can tell me about the morning show. You can tell me about some of that <laughs> shit, but you can't tell me about dating. <sighs> then, on the other hand, you a hood nigga, and you nigga, I know all the bras in the hood. I have run your pocket, so you Pablo Escobar and Elon <laughs> Musk at the same time. <laughs> Knock it off, you Anton. You Nash. want me to know how I know we a hood okay. nigga? Uh, only okay. hood nigga. Oh all the hood nigga. Uh, equivalent time and summers. He said 30 yeah, summers. Man. 30, 30 summers. summers in the game, man. I know he's from the hood. Because yeah, he's like, nigga, two summers yeah. ago. That means now, two I like, now, I like Anton. I like his style. But, Anton, if we make everybody be prestigious, Cambridge College, you know, go to Stanford, everybody don't want to be in the motherfucking Moose Club. Everybody don't want to <laughs> be in with Tiger Woods when he don't know how to talk to women. Hi, hi. This is Tiger. Can you take me off your Instagram? Nigga, we know it's Tiger. You saw him like a yeah, So wait, wait, let me, ask, let me ask a question. Let me ask, let me ask a serious question. Let me ask y'all a serious question. What's going on? What's going on? What's what's wrong with being proper or you know, knowing how to, you know, pronounce your words or enunciate things correctly and things like that? Why why is that looked at? And I'm not saying from y'all, like y'all in particular. But why is that looked at in the black community in a general sense as a negative thing? It's not negative. It's just well, flavorly. No, I, 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 in, I in, in the the community. You've been up here all day. Let, let, let the man that, that's the damn host. I just ran the numbers up to 1,200. It was at 600 when you was roasting. And you 
pretty quick with it, but Uncle Ism is up here right now. Now, hold your, cool your jets, as my grandma would say. Cool <laughs> your jets. Now, you like to go watch that basketball, Anton? Mm. You need some aggressive men. This player said he was in infantry. Then we got some niggas in cavalry. They want to do the papers and shoot the logistics. But we need some niggas to be out there in the front line, okay? You can't play basketball and be like, hey, I'm going to dunk on you. You need some grit. You need some brothers in the front line to protect us in World War Two and Three. Everybody can't do logistics, okay? So, Anton, if you had a son, I think you would think about things different because you don't want him to be so hyper-masculine to where he's being a bully, but you don't want him to be so book smart to where he's square and he can't be a Spartan in case a nigga like this nigga 2K pull up and I might have to make his name 3K. Hey, Dad, 2K pulled up and I had to bop that nigga in the head because you a man like he a man. And then I went to class and I got straight A. So that's the ultimate man. That's all I don't, I don't, I don't think so, bro. Boat. I don't think so. I think, that, I think that the problem with the community is that um, they don't value everybody the same because they're not looking to see what is unique about that guy versus unique about that guy. If this guy is smart over here, for example, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, he gets looked at as less than, or or I'll give you another example. Let's say a dude is not necessarily, because, I mean, come on, man, like, in reality, every nigga in high school ain't getting pussy, right? So... Let's say that he a dude that more focus, you know, you know, his his upbringing is saying, hey, focus on your studies. You know what I'm saying? Take care of business. Don't be focused on these hoes or whatever. Now, that nigga get teased in school. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of dudes in high school be making up and acting like they getting boxed. And they're not really getting boxed like that. And they only doing it to get teased. But we don't value that person and say, hey, man, that dude is smart over there or this person is this. We put everybody in one category and say corny, corny, lame, cool, whatever, blah, 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 right? And that's what I'm saying. You right to an extent. I agree with you to an extent in that you saying everybody can't be on the front line. Some people got to be in logistics. Some people got to be the cavalry, whatever. But we don't value the people that's in logistics the same way that we value the dudes that's on the front line until later on in life. And then even then they say, well, that dude is corny and he never got holes in school. It ain't that he probably couldn't have. It probably is that he, some people couldn't have. Some people wasn't even interested in it. Nah, nah, Anton, you can't forget now. We don't value, in the, even as adults, fuck school. Let's just say right now, like, as 20, 30, 40 year old men, right? 50 year old men, whatever. We don't value people the same. We, we call them names if they did some shit that was actually successful a lot of times. And we don't look at them and say, oh, they cool. You know what I'm saying? We we just look at everybody and we put them all in the same box. And that's what I'm saying. The community itself don't look at everybody for who they but are. Anton, the value that they bring. They only you, say, you gotta, this is what you are. You got to think about it like this. Like, if it's an infantry man, I know they don't make fucking movies about truck drivers. Like, that's in the army. Because ain't no glory attached to that situation. So it, it take a special type of nigga and you get a special type of glory to be a Spartan because you know that you die for this shit versus somebody who just using their mind for this shit. You get, you get a lot of love from women because nigga like you the ultimate warrior. She want, she want to be a part of that versus the nigga that's in the back. But why, why do everybody like, why can't he just get his woman? You know what I'm saying? Like why he got to get all the women because all like we, we glorify dysfunctional shit. Is what I'm saying. No, it, like some dudes may get a lot of women and that's them. Cool. But then we look at this nigga and we say, oh man, he don't get a lot of women. Well, was the goal for him to get a lot of women or do we need to, like, do he need to be like you? No, you know what I'm saying? No, like, it, just come, it just come with the glory. Uh, like all women like the bad boy. Black men are the universal bad boys of the world. Like you pop now, Mika, you 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 want a bad boy, but you want him with some wit. Me, you want him to be witty. You want a Franklin Saint. You just don't want a nigga that's just out here just slapping shit. You want him to have some 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 thought about himself. Women love the bad guy, not the guy who willing to to figure out two plus two is four. Go ahead, Mika. Go ahead, Mika. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. When it's time, then then he can you know be with whatever he gonna be. But outside of that, I don't want him being all 
hood or whatever. Like that's that's not attractive to me. The bad so guy don't got to be hood. Well, you well, probably. I think I, I think when the woman is younger, they like that bad boy because they like that yeah. NBA young boy type of you know style. That's the charisma because hip hop basically runs the culture. But then after women have a couple of babies and they find out that them dudes ain't about nothing, you know what I mean? Then they want the good guy. So the thing that you good guys, the prestigious Cambridge college players got to understand is you still need some hood about you. I think you need to play some kind of sport. You need to do something where you can line up in front of another man. And even though you're a book smart guy, you know he a man like you a man. You could punch him in his face. Because another thing you do is be lacking in is that bedroom. Yeah, you got to turn into a Spartan in that bedroom, Jack. That's part of being a man. Huh? Why does the black man have to Hey, we'll go on ahead and get you a snow bunny because you ain't ready. Them sisters, you got to turn into a Spartan, nigga. You got to pull some hair. You got to slap some shit around. You got to talk some shit while you up in the bedroom. Yeah, you can't be talking about keyboards and logistics. You got to be talking about, check this, who the fuck is my shit? You hitting that thing, yeah. You might just come home from work and, and, and hit that thing standing up. Yeah. She be like, uh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. Uh, no, ain't no time out in love making. We better hit this right here. Come on. And she be like, you crazy. They like that shit. Uh, I, they the like only thing I disagree shit. with you is, you said she want the good guy, then she grow up to want the bad guy. I mean, uh, she want the bad guy, then she grow up to want the good guy. I don't think that's so. Yeah. I think that a woman want the bad guy, and then she want to see his, his evolution turning into the good guy. I okay. think it's always because okay. listen, j- just think about it. Sierra wanted future. She just didn't want that version of future for us. We elf. always use that same We're analogy. About- we got a yes. we got a sister right here, sister. Don't you like that bad boy in the bed? Now let this young player know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, okay. laugh okay. that tells okay, it all. But but okay, <laughs> now you're changing it because because first you didn't you wasn't talking about the bedroom. That's different. That's that's so always the different. Yes. Yeah, the bedroom would be yes. Yeah, see? See, brothers? So outside, 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 that, outside of that, outside of that, no. Outside of that, no. Okay. Only when only when it's time. And that's what I was saying well, before. That's what I'm that's the ultimate guy that I'll be trying to teach on my channel. Be book smart and have some street smarts. Because you got all this money, say like you got fresh. I, but the, I a lot of those guys don't exist. He got the, the the book smarts. He's got all of that. You know what I mean? He got the money. He got the lifestyle. But he's still green when it comes to having some personality and some social skills. So guys, y'all need both. And if you just can't make a lot it, of those guys just, don't exist, though. brother Quentin, go on and get your get your snow bunny, Quentin. Go on ahead. They think all black men are attractive. <laughs> go on and get you a other, bro. He got the sisters one. ain't rocking with you. They want you to. Do, they want you to do their hair and stuff, man. They want you to be their friend, man. You know I, what I mean? I feel like I'm going to do their hair, nigga. What? Go on ahead, go on ahead, and get your little fluffy snow out there in Oklahoma. She be cooking bacon in the morning and shit, and then she can go outside and 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 go on and rustle some cattle. Come back in with the cowboy boots, and she loves you. Quit. Go on, that's your woman for you, man. Don't it sit around. There ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Real talk. I, I feel exactly. like. Exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. yeah get your old cattle resting. Oh, 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 Paul. You know what I mean? One of them. Paul. People Paws, think man. niggas in Oklahoma drive a ride of horses and got cattle and shit. <laughs> no, no. Quentin, listen to uh, Ride the woman, sir. Don't ride the horse. We did that in the 40s. We ride no. women now, okay? Ride that Paul and make her love Quentin. I want to hear in the background. Quentin! I made your dinner. I'm gonna be like, that's what I'm talking about, nephew. That's what I'm talking about. That's what right I'm talking about, nephew. And, and then these girls that be calling you, sharing their problems. Stop being their motherfucking therapist. Kevin Samuels told you they got to pay for that. Stop being a free voice of reasoning for these women. Get you a fluffy snow. Get you a paw. Quinn, anytime you listen to a girl problem that ain't your girl, that's kind of like you pulling her hair back while she's sucking another nigga dick. Like you don't do that. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Pause, Anytime son. you hold on, let, let me say that again. Whoa. Anytime you listening to another girl problems that ain't yours, that's the equivalent to pulling her hair back while she's sucking another nigga dick. Is that gay? 
Hey, 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 no, yeah, I'm just saying in general, home. like, but, but no, 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 but see, I always say this. I always say, I say this 100% of the time, and I say, yo, I don't believe in just on some casual friend shit. Like, if we not getting no money together, if you not adding no value into my life on some, like, real tangible shit, then what we doing? I don't want to be, I don't hey, like you know. just hanging around with just random people. But you're not you're not serving a purpose, so I, I don't agree with that. No. But I mean, that's just that's who that's what Quentin's personality is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't trip about it. But yeah, it ain't hurt nobody. yeah. So see, see that 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 mean, hey nephew, that mean the women think you soft in the bedroom, nephew. You might got to take a couple wrestling courses, man. You got to go wrestle <laughs> a couple of wild cows out there in Oklahoma. I told you, get you a paw. Nigga, at the end of the day, nigga, when it's time to get down with the get down, them niggas, they don't want to do the shit that I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying to do shit. I, like, I, 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 I ain't get that joke. You laugh, but I didn't catch nothing. You I'm said. like, they, they, you nasty. <laughs> I was like, Jagus with no draws type of joke right there, my guy. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that all women is, is no, there is no difference, bro. Black chicks get just as nasty as white chicks. They all the same, bro. Hey man, hey, hey, yeah. hey man. If if you ain't fluent in love making, then you ain't beginner course. Some of these dudes be stuttering. They verbiage ain't together. They get nervous. They premature skeeting. They don't know what they're doing with a woman. I'm telling you, they talk all this rough, tough bad boy, and they get button nuki. Yeah, in the raw ski kadoski, and you are scared, and you can't handle your business, and the woman like po baby, po baby. He's nice though, and she just do with you, and she gonna get a side dude. I'm telling you, man, you gotta be aggressive. You need to learn the art of love making, man. You need to do you about a hundred push ups before you do some love making. Baby, like, what you doing? I'm stretching. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Yeah, this is war. You gotta really. Uh, you know, but you, but, but, the way, but the way see, she at work, and when she at work, she get an aftershock. She be like, oh shit. Oh, but you know what though? But the, but that's. Think about last night. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's. I'm from a different part of the country. Um, we never gave a fuck about what women thought. Like, unless she was your girl, then the goal was just well, to fuck. What about, well, 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 my thing that's is this. Like, I think that too many guys give a fuck about what, what, how they perform in a bit or whether or not she get hers. Like, the goal is to get her to fuck up out of there when you're done. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, huh? unless that's that your that's girl. Like tricking, man. Yeah, no, my, what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if that's not your girl, bro, then what the fuck you care about what she think? Like, well, that's you, only what I'm talking to. You get Charles. These oh, dudes okay. ain't getting three and four bras. These dudes ain't Uncle Ism. They can't handle no rotation. <laughs> you little pip squeaks, y'all barely can get one bra. So satisfy your woman is what I'm saying. Let, let alone three or four, unless you just tricking. And trick sex is not the same as regular sex with a woman that you garnered a relationship with. I can't get off if the, I don't like the woman you dudes just be yeah. tricking off man I, I can't agree with that that ain't clear that kevin samuels leave with your wallet no i'm gonna leave with me i'm gonna leave with my game and i'm just so icy cold woman want to give it to me for free so all this soft boy era y'all doing and drizzle drizzle y'all sound like some females with that drizzle drizzle that sound like two shakes of a lamb tail or something what the hell is that you dudes need to be raw in y'all game if you make forty thousand, knock off a woman and make 80 but your other 40 is knocking that thing down in the bedroom. You niggas is weak. That's why your woman talk to you crazy. You niggas is weak. You ain't blowing no bats out. You ain't never had a woman pay 300 for a weave and mess it up the same day. I don't give a damn. Yeah. Nah, 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 this, this, uh, 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 now, listen, girl, we, listen I, I'm, I'm playing it hard, too, but these different times. Like, it was a recourse nah, to, it, nah, it, it used to be a recourse to a woman that didn't listen. And we ain't talking about no sex. You used to be able to slap a nigga, slap a woman on the fucking ear if she ain't listen. We dealing with we dealing with with some shit right now that's that has been nah. un fucking unheard of. I, I I don't I don't deal with unagreeable women. Maybe you do. You married the wrong batch. 
You need to get nah, it to voice. No, no, no. It's different. And what, it's what's different. your? Make sure you say your channel too, uh, Ism, before you go, so the people can. Oh go man, Sir Ism, man, Sir Ism. They all yeah. know me. I I Z M. Yeah, man. S I R. Yeah, you want another? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You want another Ism now? Excuse me. You ain't not it. Hey, listen. I got listen. I, I got real, yeah, real plans. I'm about listening. It, you keep saying listen, and I'm listening. I Z M, not with the S. I made my own word. Okay, I, I knew it wasn't official. That's all I had to hear. It, it ain't official. <laughs> what ain't official? Yeah. I Z M. What ain't official? I Z M. Yeah. I hear you crying yeah. and I hear you talking. You want to start? Yeah. You want to get the roasting? Go ahead then. You can't tell me about my game. I'm never talking about I'm trying to go to church. You over there looking like Las Vegas. What was you doing some tricks? Why are you going to tell me what I am? I am. I am the ism. Sir ism. Make sure you split the sir first. Ain't no sir about it. Church. Yeah, okay. We don't say church over here. But I got nothing against the church. But those are another whole. You can't come to the church. Faction in the game. Okay? So that ain't really my thing. But don't never tell me what I am. And when I ain't, I ain't told you that. I said you was quick with it. I try to compliment you. All you want to do is roast. Listen, compliment you I ain't going to excuse you from the truth. Now I got to get to you, Pete. No, 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 no. How you know the truth? You pulled my, I, you pulled up my Mac facts. Did you pull up my facts? <laughs> did you, did you know somebody? I, 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 do you know somebody that's ism? Do you know somebody that's in the game? I ain't talking about your drunk uncle. I'm talking about somebody that's nah, a nah, fact nah, that's nah, really nah, having nah, somebody I, 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 Listen, bro. I well, know where you from? Like, you sound like you from down south. Team. You know they call it Georgian when y'all motherfucking pay the brawl first. Anyway, we this game. We don't throw ones. We don't even have strip clubs out here in the Bay. Y'all the one pay for the bitch. Go over there to the strip club and throw all your money on a woman. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. You sound I like one of the country the boys. I want uh, none of that. Oh yeah. All I gotta do is send a nice little red phone up under you, knock you off for yeah. your whole paycheck, huh? Yeah. You what? Now you, you back, was nigga. talking. I, I you was like quick with it. Now, now you got like money, mouth, nigga. You. You're stuttering. I you heard what I said. Me. A red bone is going to be the death of you. I'm going to get into it. This ain't no motherfucking pay phone, baby. Don't ever tell me what I am, man. That's like me telling you you wasn't in the army or something, man. I done lived my life in this shit, man. Don't never tell me what I ain't, player. I ain't the ism. I ain't the ism. You ain't even checked on the channel. You ain't even seen one video. At least let me know. I ain't the ism. You ain't even checked on the channel. You ain't even seen one video. At least look at something first and then give you, you analysis. You, you see the jokes the nigga give to me. I ain't paying for nothing. Don't call my phone. This is not no play phone. This is a pay phone. Oh, okay. Baby. So now you're a married Mac. You want these married Nah, nah, Mac I ain't, nah, 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 I ain't nothing. Huh? I ain't nothing. So what did you say? Just, I do just no, nigga. Just no, I said I do this game, no nigga. Words, I ain't never been shit, married. Though. I made up my mind yeah. when I was a young boy. You said I do to the woman and the system. You understand me? And you was in the army. You used to salute your superior. I salute myself, boy. Who you talking to? I would do it, nigga. Nobody salute you back. Don't never tell me though. I ain't this ism. Well, nobody else you understand me? You back. little small squirt in the dirt. You better get my name right. We're going to do it some facts and up tonight. Check my channel out and then call me back. Now, but you my quick with it. Hey, you funny. Hey, nigga, and he when might give you a deal. Parade, parade but don't never race, talk nigga. to me when you a married man. Okay? In a minute, you might be a married incel. And you got to put a work order hey. in to get some sex from your woman. You got to write it out. Oh, no. And then you say, on Tuesday, can I get some sex? And you drop it in a little box. My nigga, some you got on some is married over incels ears and you mad right at now. the player. Because I keep a rotation. You got on some sounding over ears right now. I know your operation ain't hitting no shit. You don't know what I got on you, my ears. You got ears. that old ass couch in your nigga. background <laughs> with that McDonald's watch on. These old headphones, nigga. These my joints, nigga. Old headphones so I can hear. You understand me? I don't know what you're talking about. Trying to uh, check out my back. This nigga. My camera ain't got no respect for this yeah, nigga, exactly, man. Exactly, nigga, because your game you is trash, nigga. You got on the Calabunga time. Your game is cornball, time. nigga. You ain't got you no got game. You got on the time talking you got about married, you. Nigga, I'm yourself. married to the game. The game on my side. The game know a buster when it see it. That's why it cut nigga, your lights off on your shit. You, you nigga, ain't look paid at your, your motherfucking bills, nigga. Talking all this motherfucking infantry and cavalry. Nigga, you need to go to your staff sergeant and ask for a raise, nigga. I'm going to salute myself, you army boy, navy, marine. Shut up when you're talking to me. You need to, you I appreciate need to pay you yourself. taking care of the country, nigga. We, we appreciate that. But don't never talk to Uncle Ism, nigga. Yeah, I just put a word in for you. I just got your light cut back on, nigga. I know Mr. P.G. and E. Nigga. 
<laughs> worry about my figure. I ain't trying to knock you, nigga. Hey, I knock hey, bitches. Oh, no, so don't hey, worry oh, about if I, I got a half a finger, nigga. Right so here don't worry you, about the size shot. of the man, nigga. <laughs> don't worry about you. I, I you know sweet. you a buyer. You sweet or something? Why you worried about the size of my yeah, what? head? Nigga? What is he? I told you you had a red bone yeah, bitch to drive you crazy, and you know I'm telling you the truth. I, I, I guarantee you he buy yeah, 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 yeah. I I'm just saying you right, OG. Now you want to talk about my headphones. Now you want to talk about my fingers. Let's talk about that red bone bra that you got to put a work order in to get some sex on Tuesday. You, you know marry what? yourself. Don't you ever you talk crazy. Right this. I'm not one of the ones, okay? nigga. Well, don't you ever get I'm off your rocker, okay? Huh? Stay on your level, and that's down there. You can't fuck with Uncle Ism. Oh, you sitting I'm, in the, right. uh, I told you, you I'm in the pit. Move the AMC in, the in your living room. <laughs> um, that's a move the AMC in your living room. Don't take no finances room, to nigga. me, man. No. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> no, nigga. I got nigga. the lazy boy on it too, nigga. <laughs> you, I that's a move the AMC in your living room, nigga. I would show you all the couches, but why you worried about my living room again? Is these things that I'm being done, they always interior decorating. What hey, kind of man listen, worry about another man's listen, interior you and what kind of couches he got? Nigga, I pay if up. You want me to listen, you got to show me nigga, something. I gave out the money. Connect. My bra went shopping. Nigga, I don't buy couches, nigga. I buy I cars. Know you don't. I buy jewelry. I don't buy no motherfucking couches, nigga. I don't buy no You buy, you buy dumb, do rags and, 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 and motherfucking LL Cool J hats. Yeah, nigga, 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 I got two couches, nigga, with the 75 inch TV right there, you dumb fuck. Now, who you talking to, boy? That's With it. The glass table right there, young nigga. Oh, I ain't got to show got you a nothing. Why you showing a little room nigga. that you dug <laughs> off? You lucky your embarrassed. woman gave you an extra room. Nigga, you probably need to get a room with a workout bitch in there because your bra done got fat and you on this YouTube all the time instead of over there with your bra, nigga. And you probably done put on a few more XLB. You need to get in shape, nigga. Turn that room from YouTube to a workout room, nigga. Who the fuck is you talking to, nigga? Movie you need to turn that motherfucker. You need to turn that down right down there, little nigga. Little with the fire stick right here, nigga. With the super box right there. We're going to have a fight on 420, nigga. Pull you up. Got a fire What's stick? Wrong with you, you can't just get an ass, nigga. Do you know I'm your uncle, nigga? <laughs> you got me. I'm you your got uncle, me boy. To you and you will never out talk here. me. You still in cable and talking about you. You, you talking about pumpkin? I ain't still in shit, nigga. It's called a super box, nigga. How would you know what it is? Tell me I'm still in cable. Nigga, that's, for that's good. That's good investment, nigga. Listen to, watch the money to, watch Listen the to show Anton. That's being a savvy investor, nigga. I pay for internet and then I get the super box, so I don't have to pay for cable in every room. That's being a nigga, smart businessman, nigga. Go Your get some cable. Guacamole. I ain't talking to no nigga with no cable, man. <laughs> Who you talking this nigga to? The, Army the boy? TV I told you to salute me, nigga. Salute me. <laughs> this nigga's I salute table, myself. Man. You saluted your I commander. No what was your commander name? What, what, what was your commander name, boy? <laughs> it don't matter. I'm going to do you like who, who, Drop who and give me 50. Provider? Drop and give me 50. Who's your cable provider? Drop and give me 50, nigga. You wouldn't know who's your cable provider? Who's your cable provider? nigga. And if you come out here, it might be California. Who's your nigga out there with the job? That's who's cable provider. Mr. Army boy. What was you? I'm, I'm, a private? Nigga, you what pay your bill. I'm in the hell, cat. Nigga. What was you, boy? Huh? You army in the hell, cat. Buy a cable ass. I'm asking. I'm, a, I'm hey, asking. Hey, what was you, you boy? In the in the in the army, a yeah, name yeah, or whatever yeah. you was in. Nah, boy. you army in the hell, cat. Buy a cable ass, nigga. Yeah, Stop okay, stealing cable. Whatever. Army in the hell, cat. Whatever. Yeah. You can say what you want. Army in the hell, cat was a big old fat nigga. Nigga, I look good, nigga. And Beautiful that's who you were giving your big old money to, nigga. Nigga, I don't even I don't even know that nigga from. Stealing some motherfucking five sticks or whatever he was doing, nigga. He was a great and, and he was sending it to niggas you. niggas get on YouTube and tell all they game. And oh, Andrew Tate, y'all Godfather, nigga. I ain't none of them fucking with me, man. I ain't fucking yeah, with and you, Yeah, I ain't know? got time to keep roasting with you, nigga. Anton, you done got your moment where you got your little 360 deal, boy. Try to roast with Uncle Wisdom. But I'm telling you, man, I'm independent, man. Yeah. If we gonna do a merge, it's gotta be 50-50. You put a 360 on this little bitch boy down here. Your court jester. But tell him to hush when you're talking to a motherfucking man. You're trying to get to where I'm at, young small squirt in the dirt. Who you talking to, nigga? I'm still young. Man, nigga, I don't, you I don't know about you, nigga. Hey, nigga, I'm slicking in words, right. firm. Don't you ever yeah, say right. this. You ain't slicking in shit, You ain't slicking in I'm shit, I'm slicking in words, firm, huh? Nigga, hey, please, don't leave your bitch around please. me. You know better. Please. But I don't nigga, want no way. Nigga, went to the strip club yesterday and fucked off some money. Nigga, I don't pay a bitch yeah, for nothing, uh, uh. nigga. I, I ain't throwing no money about? on no flow. That was that what we got. Yeah, yeah, you did. Use a lie. You from the south. Oh. Use a lie. Now, Mr. Anton, I'm a, I'm gonna bid you a good night. I'm gonna let your little workers.
stay on here. I appreciate the sister. She always brings good conversation. She's always bringing. These, these are these are my you know partners, man. These is my partners. Oh, okay. I'm workers. No, nah, I thought you said you was trying to get this youngster on a 360 deal. I negotiated for you. So I, I, I take five percent. I just be I just be joking. Hey, that's all right. His own. He, he, he be watching. He be watching it from the gear, uh, the gear cable. He don't know what he talking about. They, they, they uh, Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking right about. Camp. On my Jesus. movie theater, on my Jesus. movie theater seats, movie theater seats look better than all that bullshit lighting you got going on in the background, nigga. Who made hey, your well, background? Just the background. This well, I, that, that, and how much that cost? Wow. How much that cost? How much well, that cost? My, that's like yeah. two eighty. Two eighty. <laughs> That Google movie theater seats to see how much those cost. Okay, I got thrown up in my media room though. That's the difference. Stop, stop. I got oh, why you talking about mine then, nigga? Because mine ain't in the you living room, room nigga. You. It's in the media room. <laughs> Put yeah, it well nigga, well, I might drop the top in the living room. I might park a caddy in the living room, nigga. Don't worry about my living room. I do what I want. Your cheap ass don't want to buy no garage. I know about you. Get your broke ass out of here. I don't want to hear tell me tell me about my garage. I got plenty of streams. Go look it up. I got three car garage. But this right here is the vacation house up in Tahoe. Yeah. You bum. And if you come up here, nigga, we can go snowboarding, nigga. It ain't no thing, nephew. Nah, you trying to get me to do that cocaine with you now. Oh, I might have to partake. Nah, man, man come on, man. Not, don't <laughs> start Tasha <laughs> Tan. See, anytime you can't win the battle, I'll, I'll you just start I'll, lying. I'll get me don't be a bitch, with... man. That's whole it ain't behavior, no nephew. Bite, nigga. I'm trying to teach you how to be a man. It you ain't just no start with allegations bite, and shit. When you can't no win the argument, the you just start throwing allegations that somebody this or somebody oh, that's unfound no information. Boy, no one has ever been accused of that, that, brother. Not even the court of public <laughs> opinion has said any of what you're saying. It's unfounded. Okay? So stop it, brother. Now, we was roasting. Now, let's nigga. roast on each other. Anytime a nigga got to bring in family, kids, and all that, that's when you lost the roast. You're supposed to just roast me, man. Just talk to me. I ain't saying we don't do that. Family. Yeah, yeah, please. Ain't Bruh. This ain't even an argument. Just, 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 hey, 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 nephew. Hey, nephew. We just talking. You all right, man. I ain't tripping on you, you man. Right, Do your thing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. But you got the yeah, same bro. seats in your house I got. Now, what make me the bad guy? And you so wrong. And you such a player. You got to ask your girl about that, man. <laughs> Okay, then. Okay, then. Because I'm. I want to know. I want to know. We got the same. <laughs> She'll tell you the difference. Uh, I can't, I, I, I can't answer that. But I, my my shit is bullshit, and your shit is perfecto, huh? Oh, you yeah, motherfucking moose large ass wanna be white man ass. <laughs> put your whole life because of what a white man <laughs> say. Oh, you'll never be Elon Musk ass nigga. Ain't none of you niggas Jeff Bezos, the ghetto is degenerate behavior. You niggas is ghetto. And you gonna die in a ghetto funeral. Shut the fuck up. Hey, now y'all see this? Like, y'all see this situation right here? Bullshit. Nigga, <laughs> you gonna be at, at Mount Olive, nigga. Hush your mouth with a regular reverend up there preaching, nigga. Stop it. Act like you gonna be a reverend. motherfucking top Cambridge moose lodge with Tiger Woods with some white men drinking bourbon. Niggas gonna be outside drinking Hennessy and doing donuts talking shit, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Grabbing up Hellcats and Harley Davidson, nigga. Welcome to the hood, nigga, and I love it. Yeah, but I love, but I love brothers thinking outside the box, getting money. Being a, a a a man of substance, being a Renaissance man, hope, hopefully you can have a good family, keep all your kids from felonies, and do something with your life, man. I ain't just for the degenerate behavior, but some of that ghetto make the man who he is. So all right, all you need right. a little big salute, y'all. This is a hood conversation. This a regular conversation with a nigga at the at the corner store in the hood. This, this okay, yeah, different. yeah, corner store at the hood. Now I'm older than you. When you was doing something, <laughs> when you and your mama was making love to R. Kelly, nigga, I was already having money, nigga. Three snows deep in yeah. D.C. Man, so, I, I, I'm, I'm glad you know your position at the corner store. 17th and you, 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 nigga, Now, I was over there in Boston, the, Mattapan, the okay, Jamaica hand. Plains. I was over there, nigga, stomped down, nigga, in Miami, yeah. nigga. And, and fraud, nigga, so orange box, over there, I've been all over this world. You, hey, you, you the nigga that comes to you. Hey, 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 nephew, let me out let you, man. Let me get a dollar, your nephew. When you was carrying <laughs> let me get a dollar, nephew. Nigga, <laughs> I've been riding Escalades, nigga. Out here, we call them Escaladas, nigga. Make your Mac a little harder, young nigga. Oh, What's wrong God. with you? Don't you ever <laughs> talk to me. Boy, I'm a wizard. Hey, hey, Anton, nice I'm, I'm gonna bring a real, I'm, I'm gonna bring a real pee yeah. on the show, man. Yeah, drop, show drop, you, you, hey, 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 nigga, you ain't got the facts book on every P and the fake P in the world like you got the book. Oh, this is a real one. This is like you got the Mac registry. 
Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, man, you, 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 gotta you go don't to know every man. nigga in the you world. You don't know energy, every bro. nigga in the world. You can't Google You need to it. say some of that Google energy for work daddy. tomorrow, bro. Nigga, fuck I know, I know nigga, Amazon, hood, work, I know the Amazon hood, warehouse Google, working nigga. when I see one. Nigga, the game Google. Nigga, I am the game Google. Nigga, act like you could just yeah. call up some niggas. I thought you was an army boy. How you know street people now? How you know a real one and a fake one? Where the registry at? You don't know. Hey, nigga, you probably from Georgia. I ain't go to the army tower 22. Country, boy. Ask me where I was. And we know that, y'all man. trick off on bitches. Shut up, nigga. This the bay. Yay area. Now I'm going to get up yeah. over here. And you know what we known for, nigga. Our favorite word is bitch. Y'all favorite word is throw some money on the hoe. Please. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nigga, it. Nigga, you talking to Uncle Islam, man. Now, now cool your jets, as I said. Granny with, said, with, hold with, your mouth. With the Z. Hold your mouth. With the Z. Okay, and I'm going to get up off of here, and you still all right, nephew, but go to my channel before you say what I am and what I ain't. And whoever you got, he don't know me. That nigga don't know every motherfucking real player in the world. Thank you. You don't know every real businessman in the world. And a lot of businessmen don't even say nothing. It'll be right in front of your face, nigga. So, nice meeting you. Nice young lady. Salute to Anton. Young Quentin. I still think you should get you a other, a little a Filipina, a little snow bunny, a... You know what I'm saying? Little murder mommy. Get you get you one of them, Quentin. They gon' they gonna dig on you. These sisters, they be playing games, man. You know what I'm saying? So All right, see y'all in a minute. All right, I appreciate in you. In a minute. Ha- have, a, have a nice day Peace. at work tomorrow, bro. <laughs> All right. Peace. Yeah, nigga, I'm a I'm a business owner. Nigga I own my own nah, shop. Nigga, you work at the warehouse, nigga. Get the fuck been out of here. Been a business owner for thirty summers, nigga. Get okay. the fuck out of here. Okay, okay then, nigga, so hush. So hush. Turn when up, you come to Cali, I'll tell you all about it. Go to the channel, nigga. Subscribe. I'll see you in the I, comments I, I, section. I, 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 I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check, check out your page. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Play it, bro. <laughs> but, hey, so, like, that, that interaction right there, that's a normal interaction at the corner store. Like, real talk. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm going to tell you, the older they is, you go, you go with them, but you don't never take it from them. Like, that's why I kind of shut down. You let them have it. That's all they got. That's their glory. They, um, they go, I dude. want, I wanted, I didn't want to um interrupt, but I thought like the Bay Area niggas, that's like the originators of the LGBT community. Like they got that on lock. That's what I thought, yeah, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Y'all some wild boys, bro. Y'all some wild boys. <laughs> in real life. Oh, yeah, shout God. out to Aunt, man. Real talk. Y'all insane. Real talk. Hey, right. I want to do. I do want to bring one of my my real life pimp partners on the show. Like he a real p. Like you can do. It. You can if you want to. I don't care. You, you'll be surprised the comparisons they draw from relationships to pimping, bro. It's it's crazy. Yeah, that he he was on uh South White Underbelly and everything. Oh, was he? That's dope. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a dope platform, bro. They can do some really really dope stuff over there. Yeah, go by the name of Mac Rooster. Nice, bro. Y'all got any final thoughts? Make sure y'all subscribing to these people channel. Mika's information is in the description. Y'all know love and sip hop. Quentin just be out here rocking with us, bro. <laughs> nah, yeah, they 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 can't fuck. They show me love, bro. And I know if they find my page. I always share Mika shit, so all of we link. Yeah. We lean hard to find. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all got any other final thoughts? I got to catch a flight in the morning. Oh, see, where you going? Hey, well, I, Actually, not in the morning, the afternoon, because I'm going to do the Millionaire Morning Show, and then I'm going to catch a flight. I'm going to be in Biloxi. Oh, yeah, Listen, man, it's some shit we got to bring to the community as black people, man. We got to discuss on how Aaliyah was a hoe. That shit mm-hmm. often get looked over. Aaliyah? Yeah. <laughs> Aaliyah. We got to talk about how Cassidy put herself in that Diddy situation <laughs> by trying to fuck her way to the top and not actually doing the work. <laughs> That's a conversation that need to be had. I'm, I'm telling you, like it's some conversation the black community is holding us back because we not have. How was a Leo ho? How was a Leo ho? Yeah, yeah, a lot. That's that's the conversation for another day, man. Saturday. I'm talking about those Saturday. That's a long conversation. What is that? Okay, I talk about it on. I might talk about that tomorrow then. Was a Leo ho? wasn't out like how the girls are now, like up front and sexual. She wasn't like that. She cared. 
more classy, but she was yeah. She was she had that puss yeah. in the streets. Yeah. That makes me sad. To, for Aaliyah to die so young, her body count was going crazy. Dear Lord. He was dating Jay Z. Come on now. And I still Left like eye? Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, but that's that, that like for another day. I, I can't do no more Mondays with y'all, man. Cause Q keep bringing up, I'm cheating. My girl be bringing that shit back to life when I get out. I like, man, fuck that. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> yeah, relive that shit all up. over again. This shit gonna say 2K. You cheated two weeks ago. I like, why the fuck would you say some shit like that? <laughs> I what were you doing two weeks ago? What the fuck, you? You fucked up the money, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Q, like, Q, damn, she Q. do that to me. She do everything. She just say whatever. She just be like, whatever. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Now, 2K, you said that. I'm like, God damn, Q. Like, I, I already expect. I just anticipated. I'd be like, yeah, it's coming. Okay, only, per- only person I catch strays now is Quinn. Yeah. You can't catch I, I want to hop on well. well. Hmm. Man, it's time for me to go and lay it down, though, man. Hey, y'all got them penicillin pills for sale if y'all need some. You might get a little itch or a burn. I got them. The plug is back in because we can send them to you by the, by the 12 count. Like... You can You're keep fucking your though. favorite hoe. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. And then I got my girl after I get back. I got my homie Mika coming through. Yeah. Don't look at me like yeah. that. Like what? <laughs> Nigga, that, that, hey man, I, 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 I wanna put I wanna pull up to Detroit, man. I wanna Come see through. I got like. you. I got you. It's gonna be dope. You're gonna love it. The invite yeah. to Oklahoma is shut down. What do you mean, Quinn? You don't so wait a minute. You don't still have an invite out for Mika? No, she declined too many times. You, you, you got three you got three times to say no, nigga. <laughs> she, she didn't say no. She didn't say yes, nothing. She didn't say nothing. I'm going to send you a plane ticket and see if you can on, on, on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> man, she gonna see that coach. Coach. You, you say what? You going to see that coach on her ticket? She's going to like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Nigga, no, nigga. It's, you can't, boy, first class is high, my nigga. Nigga, his name is Justin. Just get on the plane. <laughs> See, that's why I couldn't, I, I couldn't be no successful trick, though, because I'm giving you a one-way ticket, and based on your performance is how you getting back. So you might... <laughs> no, nigga. Just listen, you one of my, in my little friend zone, one of them is an entrepreneur, I got a lawyer, and I got a pilot. Yeah. I'm, you might get flew in on business economy. But if your shit whack, you going back on the mega bus. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cuz, like, I don't know, bro. Mika never said no, Quentin. Why you say she rejected you three times? She didn't say nothing. I know more about Mika than she knows that I know. Quentin, I don't know. I just play. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm okay. More than I know. Yeah, I asked your best friend, and she said that no. I ain't got one, so I don't <laughs> She said this nigga lied. No. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna stick with the with the white people. That's where I'm most successful. So. Hey, but I, I think you will do good in uh, the DMV, though, Q. Cause like, like I, you- I know a, I know a lot of chicks out there. They don't really gravitate towards like. That hood shit, I feel like you like you'll be do good out there. Dude, I, I, I do well anytime I leave the house. Nigga, I roll up and I get out of my big black I got out of my big black lifted truck and bitches love me. What you mean? <laughs> With my joggers on and no and no underwear, nigga, I'm good. Them, them bitches, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma City is a wild place, bro. 
Yeah, man, it's um, it's a wild. They know what time it is. When, when they, they they think a white dude gonna get out when they see my pretty ass get out, niggas. They know what time it is. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Why they say? <laughs> yeah, but... oh, never mind. We got no super chats on the way out. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. Y'all want to knock them? Are y'all ready to knock them out? Yeah, just knock them out. Now I gotta get out of here. Let me see. Asshole girl, does she like Unc nearest back there? I don't know what that means. My oh, girl dude. Molly. I'm gonna have to get Molly up here one day. It says rapping is the new WWE. Um, Wayne Carter three Jeezy G- uh, reception. No skips. Jeezy no reset. What? I don't know about that one. Al says my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is the best. I agree. 2K was wrong. Sir Cool says life after death is a movie through words. Facts. Um. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy, AT Aliens, Thug Motivation 101. I don't know if that's in that right order. That's not a fact. I'm, I will rearrange <laughs> those. Um, but I like all of those albums. AP Funding says, What up, Anton? Logan just got arrested for a DUI in Atlanta. Yeah, I plan on reviewing that video tomorrow. Undefeated album, Trap Music by T.I., Tupac, Me Against the World. I love that Me Against the World album. Female, I like the T.I. Miseducation of Lauren Hill. No, I like trap music too. I said that earlier. Yeah, I think the ball is all of that shit is hit. Um, Solution Trucking says Soldier Slim, give it to him raw. Shout out to Soldier Slim. I like Soldier Slim. Shout out to uh, No Limit. Seminole 2014 says Akeem Ali from Mississippi got some serious bars. You know who that is? Hell yeah. Serious, serious. I ain't never heard of him. Man, you got to check him out. I'm going to check him out. Mrs. KP says, Kai Sonata is suing a girl who lied and broke an NDA. Fact. Did you see that? No. I, I, see, I seen him expose her, but I didn't see him suing her. He's suing her. All right. Let me, let me write it down because we got to address that shit. As he showed oh, yeah, too. That, yeah, he got that bitch smooth, nigga. She thought she was winning. Yeah. <laughs> what she get, too. Yo, yo. I got blackmailed before, Anton. That's crazy, bro. Did you really? Yes, bro. How? I thought who it was and everything. Did you pay? Uh, the, the okay. So the first time I paid just yep. to get my wife. That nigga said enough, was the first word. He didn't say <laughs> no, 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 no. No, listen. So I I paid out of respect for my wife because I ain't want her to see or hear about the shit before anybody else could. So uh. It, it, it was it was some 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 chump time. It was like a it was like a hundred dollars, right? And then I knew I knew they were gonna they extorted back. you over a hundred dollars, bro. Bro, so Bitch. check. I knew they was gonna come back because they had a picture of me. So um, I just wanted to be able to be the first one to tell my wife you know, what, what the fuck going on. So after that, three months later, they came back. They were like, "Yeah, nigga, we want a thousand dollars." I said, "No, nah, do what you got to do now, Pep. Do 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 do, they do what you got to do." <laughs> no, it, it, she, if they would have came back with the same hundred, I wasn't paying it no more. I just wanted to let my wife know what was up because, you know, some shit like this hit the internet. She need to be on her P's and Q's too. That's uh, that's um illegal for people to do revenge porn. It wasn't even revenge porn. I, it, I let this nigga uh, see my Snapchat. Goddamn, my homeboys attend about one of his bitches. And he went and you know, like in your in your gallery, all your pictures be in your gallery on your Snapchat. Yeah. This nigga then came back and tried to extort me with it. And what gave it away when he sent me the picture, if you go to the details and the, the details information, it tell you where it came from. Yeah. It came from my shit. So he Yeah, was the but it's still if they release it without your authorization. Yeah. And it's some salacious shit, then that's that's literally revenge porn. It don't matter where they got it from. Yeah. So but yeah, she get wicked though, bro. And I, and I was on a low level then. I wasn't even where I was where I am now. Yeah, you can go to jail for that shit. I ain't never had no problems like that. Jake says, uh, this gut will hurt background. Know everything. What the HO's like, who the predators are, but doing jack shiznit about it. Uh, I don't know what that that, that's false. I, I Jake Fever work. says red hoodie sound like sound HBCU. My bad, H L G B T Q. Who has on a red hoodie? You. You nigga. This is maroon. Oh, there you go. Jay Ben says <laughs> AD bought a pair of Hank 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Talking about my jeans. <laughs> Joe Gun 84 says anti hat on them boys walking jeans. <laughs> <laughs> the stepdad of jeans, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why Dion left Jackson State ass nigga Diddy room? He trying to get at you. Uh, Sound like me. Yeah, he trying to get you. You know he got a, a platform, Jake Fever, right? Jake hey, Fever, I entertain a nigga with a cartoon as his picture, bro. He got a. He kind of got a pretty decent following on uh, Twitter and stuff. I mean, uh, uh, TikTok. So yeah, yeah that's right. yeah, fuck that. Fuck a TikTok. Dark 80s man says, Tom, where did you find this guy? Oh, Sir Ism or, or 2K? Both of them crazy. Team Fatty from the Dirty South says, uh, <laughs> Anton, <laughs> Dirty Man, Waste 27, <laughs> <laughs> Extra Stretch. <laughs> that was some wild numbers, nigga. <laughs> 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 That's a short, <laughs> stumpy ass nigga. <laughs> oh. That was pretty good. J Ben said 2K on side of 360, dog. We need you here. That's why. I, let me tell you what. But 360 ain't for. Uh, it's just to prevent him from going on other platforms and them niggas trying to steal this nigga. Uh, I ain't going over there, no. He don't go nowhere else. I know. I'm just talking shit. Empire Foundation <laughs> says, Quentin Jean says, oh, yeah, we did that one, gentlemen. Yeah, we did that one. That shit that took me out. Jay Smith <laughs> says, this is definitely worth staying away for. No draws. Put the drink down, buddy. Quentin- <laughs> 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 that nigga up terrorists. <laughs> this nigga be walking around making the kids look crazy out here in these streets. Jawan Hart says, OG Salty, because the 49ers got spanked in the Super Bowl. Shout out to the 49ers. All right, we knocked out all 20-something of them motherfuckers. So. Shout out to OG, man. <clears throat> Funny. He hilarious. So, you the one that kept getting them going, bro. Nah, nah. I fuck with them niggas all day. I wish I was in a neighborhood. I fuck with them all day. But I'm, I'm telling you, be them old niggas you get the wisdom from. They'll say some good shit every now and then. Yeah, he cool. Sir Ism is cool. He dope. Quentin just been was just quiet when he came up though. So uh, anyway, he was, he was yelling for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. I'm, I love you too, I'm going to sleep. All right. Could never say I, I. I can't do that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I, that's where I kind of draw my line with everybody. I can't say I love nobody, bro. Really? Like, yeah, I got a real problem with that. Like man, you got my friend, issues. My friend Kim's like that. We've been friends for 15 years and she won't she will she'll never say that shit. No, no, like you you know I love you, but like I'm not Yeah, but why that. why? What's the problem with saying it? I don't understand it. I don't know, bro. I just it just don't come off. That nigga, the nigga be like, love you, bro. I be like, all right, my nigga. <laughs> 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 I just, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I guess to know me is to know that I fuck with you. I just ain't gonna say it. Even my mama, like my mom, be like, "I love y'all." Like, all right, bye, mom. Because it, it sounds, it, it sound like bye forever to me. Nah, you know, you know what it is for me. I just always like to show people I, I appreciate them and give them their flowers. Because uh, then I, you know, what I'm saying if I be thinking about that shit and I didn't do it while they was here, if anything was to ever happen, and I'm like, fuck, bro. Like I just. I've learned to leave all of that shit on the table. I don't leave nothing to chance. I live every day like it's my last, bro. So. Yeah, but I don't think that last I love you, I don't think I was thinking about that as I was dying. Well, like, Anton said he loved me. I guess I can go on here and go to the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't supposed to think about it like a dying situation. <laughs> Jesus. That's how I look at it, though. It seemed like... Like de- death? Yeah, it's, I love you seem like the ultimate bye. Like That's I like down to me. Yeah, like I don't like say my daughter, she going to Hawaii or something for the summer. I'll be like, I love you. It's like that's bad for real. I'm not gonna say I love you and I'm gonna see you 20 minutes from now. Or really? a day from now. It's okay, yeah, you like, crazy, I ain't bro. You crazy in real life, bro. I don't know. I just feel like that about that word. I feel like them one of the words you son say a lot. 
That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Even my wife, I don't like, we don't say I love you a lot. What? Your wife? Nah. Uh, hmm. We don't say I love you a lot. We, we, she know I love her. I show her through the actions. Because of you? Huh? You don't say it because of you? I don't, like she knows I don't think, saying. my wife a jackass. You think I'm mean. She mean. No. <laughs> like, she a jackass. But I know she love me. Well, she don't got to say it. If I say, hey, go do this for me, go do this for me, go do this for me, it's getting done. That's the love right there. Mm-hmm. Like, the words don't mean too much. How many folks that say they love us and they gave a fuck about us? Yeah. Yeah, but you know when it's real, though. Yeah, like that's why it ain't got to be said. Yeah, it do. I like both. Yeah, yeah dude, because, like, I, I like, I... You'd be surprised, bro, what it do for people. Because a lot of times I know that guys in particular, they don't get a lot of um, accolades and props, even though they go out here and they do some of the, you know what I'm saying? They kill themselves every day for motherfuckers, but then people act like the damn yeah. ex- like that's expected. So when you actually acknowledge people a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? It's be like, yeah, I right, bet. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Like it, it do something for people to be recognized. And so, to I'm just, me, to like, me, I walk up to people or when I kick it with people, or I kick it with police officers, man, I just tell them, like, bro, I appreciate you, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just tell people what I really think in real time. I don't got no like airs the, about me, none of that shit. The biggest way I tell my girl I love her is, like, with a forehead kiss. <laughs> I don't say it. But, like, to me, like, forehead kisses are, like, precious, bro. <laughs> like, you, like, Mika, you ever been kissed on your forehead? Yes. That's real love, bro. Like, yeah, that's, I, mm-hmm. that's real love. Forehead kiss. Mm-hmm. You crazy, too. Uh, you don't think so, Mika? You got to say it. You ain't never had a nigga to squeeze your jaws and kiss you on your forehead. <laughs> that's real love to me. Like, I don't know. That's just how I express it. But, like, it's give you a forehead kiss. Like, that's like my highest form of love. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sometimes. Mm. 2K is crazy. Me could be tight lipped as fuck. <laughs> she's smart. Oh, okay. okay, good. Yeah, now. Yeah, you got to say something. She think, she's thinking back on, like, damn, that nigga did love me. And I just <laughs> thought my bro was thinking that day. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, I got to go, y'all. All right, yeah. I'm going to see y'all later. Uh, Y'all take care, man. Hi, y'all. I'm out.